That was fast. I wonder if I'm just somehow sending my money away to no one. Uh, if you spell my name right, then no. Yeah, it just but takes I don't... a while to get here. Maybe there's a 10 minute thing. Oh, this place! I mean, oh, yeah, I remember this place. This place! <laughs> this is Battlegrounds, technically. So this was, uh, this is the, this was Marty's cringe moment. Did you just get on the fucking mount, you dummy? Yeah. This was Marty's cringe moment as he was watching me in this dungeon at some point. And no, uh, the it. people I was playing with at the time were a healer and a tank, and I was the DPS. And the healer couldn't heal, and the tank couldn't tank, and so we were just getting crushed by this. And like, the, there was the people I was doing the playthrough, which was which was unfortunate. Go get a lance and hook the, the lance. Mouth. What are we supposed to do? Oh, maybe to... this is, I don't remember this. Maybe it's a different dungeon. Okay. Okay. But, uh... We, like, Marty was losing his mind because the, uh... The healer we had couldn't heal and the tank we had couldn't tank. And they just... They just didn't have any idea what they were doing. And it was kind of a highlight of how the, uh, playthrough... Like, because I'd been playing with them the entire goddamn game. But it kind of highlighted how easy the game was in that stage. Was that, like, you get that far into the game while not really learning how to heal or tank, like, with any level of, like, aptitude. You were just kind of pressing buttons. Like, some kind of arena like this. It, may, it might be this exact one, because I don't remember these, but... Like, people could not figure out what to do. And then there's this whole awkward thing where, like, they're like, hang on, I'll, we'll, do, we'll switch roles. And they switched roles of who was healing and who was tanking, and they still couldn't do it. It's just such a disaster. Like, we were straight up, like, stuck here for a while. And Marty was just like, I can't believe that this is happening. How did, how did people get this far and not learn how to play the characters? Uh, because you can just get carried really easily through the, yeah. uh... I don't remember this at all. This, this is like the build up to the boss. This mounted part, yeah. There's a lot of just like gimmicky shit just generally going on. Oh, well, they gotta keep you interested, otherwise you're just walking through dungeons and pressing yeah. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. It's just the, cur the current expansion is so full of stuff like this, but like, it's all so low impact and easy that like, you never really have to think during any of it. Like, there's, a mini like, there's mini games where you're a crab eating turtles. And in minigames where you're a turtle dodging crabs, and you have to do the same minigame over and over again when you're rep grinding, and it's like, uh. <laughs> the turtles kept making me play the shell game. Like the Remember one where you're doing shields, by the way. Like they keep you making shields up to three. Yeah. The turtles Roll. in the current expansion keep making me play that game where a bunch of cards are face down and there's a bunch of matching pairs, and you have to keep flipping the, the correct two over and or in that or that that match each other. Equip your arms. What's arms? Your actual weapon. Go back to your regular weapon. Oh. Because now it's time to actually fight. <laughs> yeah. I, I got conf I got confused. Because uh, it's, it's, it's silly, but the uh, my, the icon for my weapon right now on this character looks like a trinket. So I thought my trinket got it unequipped a minute ago. <laughs> As opposed to my, uh, main weapon. Because, yeah, the, the, uh, the spellcasting staff heirloom item looks like... I think it was the PvP trinket? Or something? Dying. Cancel heals. Yeah, I gotta cancel the... Yeah, he just keeps healing. It's a strong heal. Where's the heal? Oh boy. Well, the the star keeps healing himself. Fuck. All right, bud. <laughs> I don't think this guy's ready to heal. Well, tank's dead. Nope, he's back. Nope. <clears throat> I'm 
be. You can just release, so there's no oh, consequence of dying. Just release. Yeah, because we're, we're just right here. <laughs> this is a, this is a very strange dungeon. This is a very strange dungeon. This guy's never gonna die if we don't get, if we don't interrupt the heals. Holy shit, dude! I'm not getting healed at all. Hello? I'm gonna fucking I'm just gonna get aggro. Okay, you know what? This could be going better. This could be going better. Where's this guy? Oh, here it I comes. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. Is he healing himself? Oh, uh, yeah, he is. Stop. I can't get it in time because, like, I can only do it every 20 seconds and he can heal, like, all the time. <laughs> yeah. It helps to have more interruptions. Want. I'm trying to remember. Do I have a single interrupt? I don't have many interruptions. This is not my kit. That's, uh... My kit. I, we can't keep doing this. This is not... The defense I'm gonna end up paying, like, all of my gold and fucking... I think my only repairs. interrupt is Shadow Fury as a stun, which doesn't actually interrupt. It just makes him not do anything for a bit, technically. Oh wait, uh, there we go. Shit, I forgot. My fell hunter can have an interrupt. Hey, why? No. Oh. Oh, you fucking come on! Are you serious? Are we really gonna sit here and do this? Oh, shit. This isn't hard. You just have to heal, bro. Yeah. <laughs> please heal. Holy fuck, please heal. Alright, this is... This is All ridiculous. Right. Nope. All right, just die. Yeah. We're going down because he ain't fucking healing, bro. It's called your class. Play it. Hmm. Oh, why I gotta fucking... So I, I was making a mistake. I haven't actually had to do this, so I was fucking up, but my, my fell hunter has a interrupt. <laughs> Shh, 24 second cooldown. I have an occasional fucking cooldown. Cooldown, apparently. Yeah, mine's also yeah. like 20 se uh, 24 second cooldown. What do you want from me? I can't, like, and he can just heal immediately after I, like, I cancel it and he goes, okay, wait, then starts healing. And I'm like, I can't cancel it. <laughs> Thing's not back yet. <laughs> also, spoiler alert, you're supposed to, like, pull one of the people and then you pull the other one. Or pull the whole fucking three people. I don't, I don't know, know about that. that. I think they pull as a group. No. Where's Cauterize? We need Cauterize. <laughs> Open your items turn by Cauterize. Full DPS on cross. Okay. Alright, different strategy entirely. Focus him down. Does this mean the other strategy was bad? Man. <laughs> Oh my god, he... Dude is taking damage. Holy crap. I... Okay. I'm... I'm... I don't know. This is... This is a curious situation we're currently in. So we're... Both we're sure me and right. you are focusing on this guy. Yeah. Uh. Neither of us are in the muck. We're not at risk. The issue is that it makes it harder to interrupt the heals if we're not focusing Holy the shit, healer. Holy shit, the tank is dead! Come on! Uh, fucking... Okay. I'm a this curious. is already aggravating me. This is... This is ridiculous. Dude, you need to heal. Either leave if you can't do your fucking class, or do something else. Like... Holy fuck, dude. DPS is full on cross. Okay. Yeah. See what I mean? God damn. 
There, I interrupt his healing wave. I hope he doesn't do it again in three seconds. Mm -hmm. it, he, he has oh, to wait at least six seconds. I can't, I can't stop I got that. It. That's someone else's. Yep, I got that one. But I have, tw yeah, I also have a 24 second cooldown. And I fucking didn't get healed that entire time, so I died. This is interesting. Which I can't, it's not conductive for me because I'm a, a hunter, so I have to resummon my pet every time. This is a delay and... Oh, yeah, boy. I also have to summon my pet every time I res. Uh, holy, okay. Shit, dude, I am dying. I am, I am, I'm straight dying. <sighs> oh boy. All right, I, I'm already done with playing WoW today. <laughs> like, God damn, dude, this is ridiculous. This is absurdly ridiculous. How are you this bad at this? Oh, Just fucking heal. What class are you? Druid. Oh, Come I got on. polymorphed. Ah, uh, uh, fuck it. You used the cooldown anyway? Did I even, I, I, did it even go off? Yeah, I'm, I'm on cooldown. Shit. So I can't do anything. Shit, we can't even kill a fucking thing. Also, it's really hard to tell when he's doing his heal. Yeah, I'm not. It's, you know, I'm actually, I'm not entirely sure go. why we changed what we're focusing on, away from the one that heals. He's doing it now. I just blocked him from it. What do you want, man? I don't think we have the. Cap All right, this guy's almost down. Just don't let him heal. What she's doing on mass? He's literally spamming it. Could oh, somebody? Fuck. It's. Yeah, it's, it's it's too awkward yeah, just try to switch it, to him in time. It's not, it's just, this is not a plan. The plan should be that you hold all aggro. The DPS take, the DPS takes care of him. Or takes care of the little guys. And then we all move on. He's doing it again. Can someone block his healing wave? Not for a while. Yeah, me neither. So what is this? Oh, thank God this one's gonna die. Oh God, come on, dude. There we go, thank God. All right, focus the other guy. Interesting. This is like tuned to like a different tier of difficulty than the rest of the game. No, it's, it's not. It why, honestly why isn't. Why focus it's the just... skull? We need to... Yeah. Again, don't just let it, Why are we focusing on everyone but the healer? That's strange. All right, I can't interrupt that one. I did. Can you interrupt that? Uh, nope. go. Nope. Oh, fuck. I think it used it up anyway. Yep. You used Damn it on it. the wrong thing, so now he's going to mass heal until uh, I get mine back in 10 seconds. I miss <sighs> kick. <laughs> nope. It's. It's. I miss kick so much. Well, there's one less guy, so this should be hilariously less dangerous right now. So we got that going for us. All right, interrupted. That's interesting. I can command my guy to interrupt while I'm casting something else, and it doesn't interrupt my currently casting spell. That makes sense. It was actually the first fight I've had to use this ability in where I command my pet to do something. I'm not used to, I've had, I, 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 like, I, I think I told you, I like, oh, this, I got this new button that's weird. Like a session I, or two come ago. Come on, man! I just literally stopped him from healing, and he immediately casted it again. Like, uh, it should be interrupted for like six seconds after you do it. Yeah, if you my hit him, if you hit him right. Fucking four seconds. Yeah, well, it's because you have to rotate interruptions. It'd be great if either anybody else had interruptions besides yeah, us two. I'm, I think we might be the only two people with interruptions. Wait, it's micro a, DPS a is a warlock. Yeah. Does, wait, why is the warlock not have a pet? Look, again, just ignore it. Let them be Is bad. there a spec that doesn't have a pet? No. No, he's... Wait, he has a billion little he's, imps. I think he's my spec. Yeah, he's just bad at playing his class. It's fine. He didn't need to learn. He had the thing called carry. Yeah. And it was hard. <laughs> Holy fuck. That's just one trial.
<laughs> this guy has the wrong pet out. All right. Could you get off my screen? Yeah, that's a lot. That's a lot of loot. That's don't a lot need loot. to see what everybody else is getting. Don't give a shit. Uh, 103. There we go. Yep, that happened. All right. Are you replacing your armor? Are there more? Yeah. Yeah. I, uh, I think that guy just genuinely. Yeah, he, I don't think he knows that he has an interrupt. Nope. Admittedly, I'm not used to using it either, but let's see. What level is he? 77? He's higher level than me, so he definitely has it. Your words are too kind. Again, bad player. May the light give me strength. That's why I was actually putting all my aggro. I have a misdirection. I put all my misdirection on him because he's being a piece of shit. Wait, you're so misdirecting the... to the warlock? <laughs> yeah, because I was like, fuck <laughs> that guy. He's not playing well. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's the beauty of being a hunter. You can be super toxic to people. I guess and so. And they'll never know. Yeah, well, uh, rogues also have that power to just give somebody else their aggro, which is amazing. I think it's called Tools of the Trade. I mean, that's you how I use it. just be a massive scum lord. Look, this guy has every, he had every chance to learn his character for a long time, actually. I feel like every DPS has a spell interrupt. Yeah, every DPS has a spell interrupt. A uh, druid even has a spell interrupt. Which are, is, is our healer. He ain't using it. The druid has one? I believe so. I believe druids have an interrupt. Uh, may... Mm. It might be within a form, though. So what a, what a party, by the way, two druids and two warlocks. Yeah, it's a very balanced party. Oops. Uh, we got the. No. Uh, yeah. I think druids might have an interrupt in cat form or something. At least that's where oh, rogues that have it. Event. So I, I think I think a DPS druid might have interrupt, either cat or boomkin. But I don't I don't know if their healing and tanking forms have an interrupt. Is what they should both be in. Although I think our healing druid's not in a form. Does he not get it yet? Uh, I not... believe he has. It. He, I know he has his form. It. Uh, what level is he? Why is name? Yeah. Why isn't he a tree? Seventy-one. Yeah, he has his form. I wonder why he's not a tree. <laughs> Probably the same reason why we weren't getting very good heals at combat. Yeah. Maybe, maybe this is why we find out that he queued as a healer, but he's not specced as a healer. That is common. That's just, that'd be distressing. And kind of, ex well, explaining. One day. Figured I should kill the font of light. It's probably doing something. <laughs> I don't know what it's doing, but it's probably not good. I don't like the look of that light. Hey, are you looking for a guild? No, I'm not. Yeah, you sir. got you got a hit by that too. They really do just spam yeah, it's... indiscriminately. It's remarkable how every aspect of my life contains spam. Uh. Well, Just again, endlessly. welcome to capitalism. And then my job only adds to the spam because everyone's trying to recruit me to a network or get me to, like, to get to Wait, play their game or they're, trying to, or they're trying to sponsor me playing their game. Yeah. I got multiple network invites today. What? Yeah. Who's dumb enough to fall for that shit? I don't know. You did once. <laughs> Yeah, but like that's again early, early YouTube. Like there's... back when it, back when there was the idea that it somehow does something, where nowadays it's like it especially doesn't seem to do anything. Yeah, n nowadays it's definitely a scam. Like all the features that networks ever did are largely just things you just normally have, and uh... yeah, they're all features you already have access yeah. to now, which is monetization, and you have access. To... Is my pet dead? Maybe. I, I like how I'm not getting healed, by the way. Nope, just still not getting healed. Am I just gonna die? Are we, do we switch, let me do die? We do we switch to the dragon or something? 
Okay. But uh, he marked it as a dragon, so let's just yeah. fight the dragon. I've got a Fire solo. Ceiling, though. Ow. Targeting the dragon. What do you mean I need to target something? My pet has died. Rude. Wow, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm taking damage. Yeah. Uh, it's taking everything our uh, our poor druid has to keep the tank alive, apparently. So he's not uh, generously giving it to anybody else. Mm -hmm. Oh, there we go. I got some healing finally. I have a soul well here. Yeah. I need to go back and touch it. Oh boy. Why is he why is he coming at us? Did our did our druid die? Why 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 why? Oh Brol did die, but I but I stoned him so he's back. I appreciate that. I apparently have the next highest I have the highest DPS, guys! This is a disaster. Fuck. I mean you are a DPS, it's not like it's out of character for you to have highest. I mean like too high. I'm at almost, I'm only at 16.4k. The next one to me is 11. <laughs> like, come on, pick it up. Pick up the fucking pace. My pet dead? My pet is dead. I've Why am I being attacked? Why? I've been casting a disproportionate number of healing spells. My pet, so I can get my DPS oh back up even higher. Is there like an avoidable thing I'm taking damage from, or is it just like a general damage source? Nope, it's just general damage. I think okay. it's a dot he's placing. I would like it if he would oh, stop doing that. Oh no, it's holy fire, that. I think. I think this person's casting holy Shit. fire, and that's what's doing. Yeah, I don't think I can like stop it's taking dead, damage. Yeah. I I used my go my obligatory evasion button. Oh, there we go. Do the tank. Do the tank. Thank you. They seem to have given everyone an equivalent of, a, of rogues of evasion, where you'd like reduce incoming damage by about forty percent for a while. That is seems, nice. seems like to be is... seems to be a universal thing. I, I was talking to Marty about raids earlier, and it sounded it sounds like, aside from a few exceptions, the ideas of classes being important kind of went away. Yeah, you can just kind of have a raid just, with whoever you need it to be, as long just, as you have a yeah, healer and a tank. You just have like a healer and tank and DPS, like, vague numerical composition, but it's not like when I was a rogue. Like, when I was a raider, yeah. I was rogue class leader, and each class had a different leader, and that leader had was in charge of X number of slots that they had to fill, so they were like choosing from the rotation, like, who would get to be in those slots each day. You know what I mean? Excellent. Yeah. Because it was so important to have X number of rogues and X number of warlocks and whatnot, and uh, hey, it changed and it changed from raid to raid, and you would choose who would go into each one to try to like make it fair. I'm glad he got a weapon and no one else did. <laughs> I mean, he clearly needs it. Hellstone. No one immediately goes to it. Mm. Buddy, you can do that. You can you can also spawn Hellstone. Here, he t went and touched the bye guys. Uh. All right, our uh, rebel warlock's just leaving. I want to die! <laughs> wow, they all left. Really? Uh, God. <laughs> God fucking damn it. God fucking damn it. <laughs> what a fucking start to a session. What a fucking start, man. Where is the Black Knight? 
Well, you talk to this guy. Oh, you talk to this guy? And oh. he says, I'm ready, and then you fight. Uh, so I, I guess everyone just decided we're not doing that. <laughs> well, I mean, we can't complete the dungeon without doing it, so they decided they're not doing yeah. it. Uh, I guess they got what they needed, which I think that guy just wanted the weapon, probably. What a piece of shit. Okay. Uh, so... What a piece of shit. Were... were they just here for that? Wait, did they know each other? I was just I mean, like, the, said the, guy, the, guy, the guy, so. The guy who refused. Did they not. Did they think the dungeon was over? <laughs> Maybe. Oh, no. They, they might have thought that was the final boss. I, we, I, may, I mean, th the guy who left might have thought it was the final boss. Should we leave the group? Uh, no. Why? Does that make just, us deserters? I mean, no, if we everyone leave, else left. Yeah, but does the game make us a deserter anyway? Like, I don't know how smart it is, because you got marked as deserter. I don't want to be out of matchmaking for half an hour. Well, I got marked as deserter because I left an actual start of an instance. Like, no one else had left. Uh, We're the only ones left. So I think if we... Yep. If we leave Q, leave instance group... Uh, yeah. You will not be able to return to instance group once you leave. Yes. What a start. <laughs> What a fucking start. Everywhere you look. Uh, do you have mail? Uh, I do not have mail. What the fuck? Wow, how I long may, may does log mail out, log back take? In. <laughs> how long does mail take? Uh, it takes about two to three days to apparently send. No, it takes an hour, apparently. Oh, damn. Mail from another account, if there's items or money, takes an hour. Mail between your own characters is instant. Ah, oh, gotcha. Like Makes I keep sense. mailing stuff to my own characters, and it's like, there it is. Hmm. I guess they just want to avoid, you know, the Diablo 2 problem. Because remember in Diablo 2, you'd like have somebody like hold a lobby open for you, so you could like bring your alt in, drop all the yeah. shit on the floor, then grab it as a different character, and so on. I think it's, I think it's actually to stop gold farmers. Yeah. No, I, no, I mean the, uh, I, I mean the part where they made it instant within your, between your characters. I think is because oh, they yeah. wanted to let make it easier for in that way. Because uh, I think it yeah, used to take people, an hour for your own characters like too. Ugh. I think it being instant between your characters is new because I, I remember being surprised when it happened. Relax. But I, I thought now that maybe it's like maybe people you know like it's instant with them or something. But I guess it takes an hour, so you just you just have five k money later. That's fine. It's fine. Uh, let's see. Do what? I actually use disengage? There's so many people standing in this room and none of yeah. them none of them are vendors. I just want to sell shit. Why are none of the people in this front room a vendor? <laughs> Have you noticed the trend vendors. where like the safest vendor of all that you thought you could find is like vanishing? Like on a regular basis now, uh innkeepers are not vendors. But like sometimes are they, they still are. Yeah, throughout my leveling career, uh, all the vanilla innkeepers are vendors, but a bunch of expansion innkeepers are not vendors, but the newest expansions innkeepers are, innkeepers are vendors. That's trolling. Yeah. Oh, is this the Alliance Deserter? What the fuck is that? <gasps> it's the Alliance Deserter. How did I get him? <gasps> Wait, oh shit, I just- wait, wait, I opened a menu- okay, he's following me, cool. 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 What? It's the Alliance Deserter. <laughs> I've had this quest for like, multiple sessions now. And I couldn't figure out where the f I could- I didn't know where I got it, or where the Deserter came from. So I was like, where, how the f- there's like a crossroads that just says, deliver the Alliance Deserter. But it's like one of those many things where it's like, if you weren't paying attention from literally the second the quest started, you're like, shit, where did I get this quest? And, and what do I do? You know the classic problem with the with just you know just running around grabbing every quest you see and then just try, then then looking at your map to try to figure out how to solve them all. Yeah, but sometimes you're like, shit, where did this one begin? I was supposed to do something like from the get go. This is like an escort or something. I had one. I was doing my Patreon Q and A today, which is actually all I've done besides this today. I kind of took a day off a little bit besides that. Gas. And uh. How lazy of you. Yeah. Yeah. Only, only did, only recorded for two hours, uh, but the, uh, 
I got to a part, the final part of the war campaign for Horde in the expansion, and uh, keep up with me, weird naked man. Uh, there was a part with two ship, like two pirate ship looking things, and I was supposed to get on them to fight people, and I couldn't find like a chain or anything to climb, and I was like, fuck. I have to go back to the quest giver, which is not marked on the map, because uh, that's not how quests work. And I need to, like, find uh, where the quest giver was so I can, like, figure out how to do it. Which is that you, which is the quest giver tells you you're supposed to go up to this one goblin standing nearby and then they fly you onto the ships. But because oh. you can get through, like, 95% of all quests without that kind of knowledge and extra steps, you, you get tripped up every time they do anything be different. Uh, how do I get down? Can I just jump down? Will he follow me? Or is he a dummy? Okay, he, he's following me. Come with me, naked man. I think if I just, as long as I stay on foot, I think he can follow me. I think I fucked it up by flying away the first time I got this quest. Or maybe he died. <laughs> maybe I just did, didn't did realize he, he existed for a while and he died. That did happens. he come running to you when you... Uh, I just uh, went back into the... Because we spawned back in the main town after that quest, after that dungeon, yeah. and he just kind of spawned on me. I don't know where I came from. Terrifying. So I probably went by the quest giver again or something, uh, and he just like respawned and started following me. The f my first indication he existed is I saw a weird three people with a plus sign icon on my buffs, and I and I and I panicked a little bit because when I looked at it, it said deserter, and I was like, <gasps> no, I can't instance for half an hour, because that's what I was looking for. But instead, it's like it says yeah. escorting alliance deserter. Keep the cowardly dog close. <laughs> Oh, you can use a, uh, a flare to signal the soldier from the keep. I think you use the flare... I think you use this, the flare at the crossroads when you're turning him in. Okay. I think that's the end of the quest, not the beginning of it. But yeah, earlier when we were oh. fighting the moths and stuff in this one, like, red area, I was like, there's a weird Alliance Deserter icon here. How the fuck... What? Where is he? How do I, how do I turn it in? What do I oh, do? Yeah, I have to have. Yeah, it's his failed attempt because I don't have the alliance. Because you lost him. Yeah. Requires you to be at the crossroads east of Warsong Hold with an alliance deserter in tow. Where do, yeah. do I get one of them? By the way, pl playing the mod modern expansion, I kind of dig the world quest system. Like, just weird Ow. environmental quests just pop up on the map and you just walk into the zone of them and then just kind of do them. <laughs> oh, yeah. And they I just love are spawning. Quests. And they're just kind of spawning on a daily basis. And right now we have, uh, on top of having double XP, we also, until, I think until like a week from now or something, we have like double rep gain. Yep. So if you're in the current expansion, you can just get every oh. character unlocked. <laughs> you can just sit there and just get get exalted with everything. Wait. Like that's going to go oh, away man. in like a week or two, I think. But the double XP thing is sticking around until they get rid of lo level 120. That's nice. Like, it was going to last a month, but now it's going to last until the Shadowlands pre-patch, and no one knows yep. when that is. <laughs> Cause what? I thought it was the... I thought it was supposed to be, like, May 10th or something mean? like that. You mean in, like, three days? Yeah. I thought it, like, Friday is... Ba or... Yeah, I thought... Not, not Friday, Saturday. Shadowlands pre pat May 10th. I'm Googling that. Uh, I don't know. I, can't, uh, I don't have time should to, be on the thing. I don't have, Let's I don't have, see. I don't have time to research this because this is happening. Bonus extended. Tell me when. It as far as I was, as far as May I've 18th. heard. May 18th. May 18th? Yep. May 18th will be the end of the extension. Why is it May 18th? Oh. No, you're wrong. How am I wrong? I literally clicked the news article. Or what I just read, at least, is that I think you're I think you're mixing up the two different things. I think you're looking at the buff of exp on a rep reputation gain. 
Oh, there's a reputation. Because that, that was what I was just talking about. The reputation doubler is ending after, after like the event, like after like a month of it being around or whatever. But the uh, the double XP is supposed to last until they until the pre-patch. And the pre-patch usually comes out like a few weeks or a month before the expansion. I'm trying to remember how it Here. worked. I remember playing. Uh, I remember playing Vanilla WoW, and then Burning Crusade was coming out, and they gave, they added, uh, they added the new level 70 talents. They added the new level 70 talents before uh, level 70 was an option. But, mm. like, the result of that is that it was the old system for talents, but that wasn't based on level, it was based on talent points. So basically, they oh. added 10 talent points worth of talents. Which meant you could just unspec oh. 10 points out of another tree to get to the bottom of the new level 70 tree. I remember that was when my rogue was overpowered as fuck. Because I had Mutilate, which is the attack with both weapons at once backstab. Oh god. Which I think is gone now. Or it might be, uh, I think it's from a different, uh, actually I think Mutilate's from a different spec than the one that I picked on my rogue recently. But, uh, yeah, Mutilate, yeah, was, Mutilate was backstab, but you attack with both weapons, and you have 100% guaranteed chance to apply poison on both weapons. Dang. So you would give yourself poison, uh, you would give yourself oh. poison on both weapons, you'd, like, you'd, 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 like, get your deadly poison going and shit, and you'd be, uh, not only would you be doing, like, a massive backstab on every enemy, but you'd also be applying uh, deadly poison like crazy. Hey, these which, guys know how to play. Which was very impressive at the time, but uh, I think I, I think I remember that not being the optimum build. But putting poison on people? Uh, mutilate, because mutilate was at the bottom oh. of assassination. But I remember combat rogue being the best way to do DPS as a burning crusade rogue. Which combat isn't even a tree for rogues anymore. They replaced it with the the pirate tree that I'm playing right now. Outlaw. Yar. Where you're like, I've got a gun and dice and shit. I'm like, this is weird, but okay. Yeah, they got rid of hey, combat man. they got rid of combat it's... rogues, probably because like thematically they were just like, I'm a warrior, but easy to kill. <laughs> Cause you didn't have any backstabs. You didn't combat rogues didn't use uh, any backstabs and any like particularly roguey abilities really they pretty much just were really fast attackers And that was like all they really uh, like did which was a weird thing And you used a bunch of weird like weapons that didn't feel very roguish like axes and nonsense Well, you, you weren't really a rogue you were a Yeah It was all about it, uh, using slice and dice and bleeds and poisons just to stack as much consistent damage as possible. That was the first thing I had to yeah, train myself, was... is that, like, when I was leveling as a rogue and doing stuff like that, like, what always felt good was just anything that made big numbers pop up on the screen always made you feel like, oh, this must be the good the good build. <laughs> I get really big damage spikes. But as a raider, you, real, you realize that damage spikes, on top of giving you extra threat, actually don't actually equal out, at the end of the day, to being the most DPS. It's just it's just momentarily impressive when you see a big number on the screen, but just doing consistent damage where you have a slice you have slice and dice and bleeds and poisons on at the same time did so much collective damage in a very like kind of subtle way that you were just would you did you'd have damage your entire raid. Yeah. You had to just learn that secretly these really un these unimpressive looking attacks were the secret way to 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 go. You wanted your garrot and your rupture and your slice and dice and your deadly poisons on. Because they it was just tick 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 tick. There was just a stream I mean, there was yeah. just a consistent stream of numbers on the screen. Because you had like Dot. four dots at once. Like yeah, I was gonna warlock. say dots are king when it comes to WoW. Oh hurry up. Get in here before it seals. Is it gonna lock us in? I think so. It's always a gamble. I never know which ones are the ones that are gonna lock you oh, yeah. in. Yeah, because it was just like a it was just like a trend for a bit. That it was asset some weird looks, mechanic. That, that asset looks really bad. <laughs> the weird circle. You know, it was a it was it's... a different time. No, <laughs> that's supposed. To, I, that's wow, that looks so down. ugly. That's supposed to be underground, right? I think only the smoke's uh, no. supposed to be above the ground. I think they fucked up. 
I it's think. like a really <laughs> polygonal, completely flat, untextured black like cylinder. I think you're, so you're just uncultured and don't understand true. Oh my god, this looks awful. It's, it's so ugly. Look how ugly it is. Please go away. <laughs> you can even see the like actual. You can see every uh, polygon. Well, yeah, you, you can, can see the polygon. You can, you can walk around in a circle and count them. Oh no, it's like a cake. Look, you can walk into it. It's yeah. just solid. Yeah, I think that's supposed to be underground. I think it's supposed to just make this, the smoke circle generate. I think it's got like an axis off or something. Oh no. Okay. Guys, I'm sure they'll on. fix it in the next patch. Okay. Guys, hang on. I'm not cool enough to have a speed boost of any kind. I'm a warlock. I really miss my shaman and how he can instantly turn into a wolf without any like casting or anything. I have that on hotkey, on the same hotkey that I mapped my uh, stealth button as a rogue. <laughs> God, this guy is killing things way too fast. <laughs> way too fast. Way too fast. I mean, it's a good problem to have. Because that last party was a disaster. They couldn't do any of the fights, and then they just quit before the instance was over, even though we were winning. I don't know what the fuck happened there. Well, Did they know we something struggled. we don't about, like, where people don't do the final fight? Probably. I like, mean, it's probably, again, it might have just been as simple as, well, the one guy left. We're not going to wait for someone to come back. So GG, boys. Yeah, but why did he leave? Uh, he's a, he was oh, a piece. Well, that was a guy who didn't even guess, know he had a stun. So Yeah, yeah he didn't know I'm he had an interrupt. Trust, I'm not going to trust that he accidentally or that he left, you know. I wonder if it was right genuinely time. just everyone was getting too much resistance in a game that is where every instance is so easy. Specific. They're like, ah, oh, this is beating us i quit i quit and also it's everyone else's fault <laughs> wow it sounds like overwatch yeah it's just the standard way to handle online co-op things is clearly i'm losing as everyone else check out that fucking I form i want that character so bad yeah the bird I love yeah the bird. that's the boomkin for zandalar trolls it looks so fucking cool that's fucking cool it's like a pterodactyl monster it's like a skexy i might use my level boost on a troll on a druid <laughs> You like it so much, you're willing to throw a level? Yeah, maybe? I don't know. I, I, well, I want to level every class, but we'll see about that. But oh uh, the, thing about, the thing about a druid, though, is I might not spend the l level up on it because the uh, I, I might enjoy leveling a druid too much. <laughs> wow. Like, I might not want to, to level boost a druid because there might be something more worthy to spend it on that I, like, I'd want to have at high level, but wouldn't want to actually level. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like yeah, there's, there's a class like where, a, like, oh, I'd like, like to a, have a class of yeah, that, but I don't want to play, Like a priest you know, like, or something. Where, like, can I just skip the rating, but not make make the leveling happen? I always, I always whereas hesitate a, to do... Whereas a druid's probably really fun to level, like a druid and a hunter. I'm probably going to level manually. I, I and think I if have I a could, I would. And a shaman and a death, I would level death boost hunter. a hunter. I mean, hunters knight. are hunters are so easy to come into. Every, everyone, because so are you a hunter main? Yeah. Motherfucker. So Why? you, Marty, and Eric are all hunter mains. Yeah, hunting is just like the best to do solo. Am I the only one that's like glory to rogues? <laughs> Uh, well, definitely glory to rogues. You're alone on that. Yeah. Damn. I I'm they willing, turn invisible, like my, man. <laughs> my second class is. Uh, I can, it's a class that can turn invisible whenever they want. It's great. See, my second whenever class I'm, is whenever death I'm, knight. Whenever I'm whenever I'm questing, I just walk to the objective and click on it and then leave. <laughs> like I don't have to fight any of the old any of the giant groups of everything that's just everywhere all the time. Like, there's so many classes where you have again. to fight through everything, and I'm like, bitch, I have invisibility. Which is, all the, more, shamans. Which is all the more reason for me to like my druid when I level, play, level that character. It's because they can transform into another character that turns invisible. <laughs> it's just an extra step of turning into a cat first. Or in the Zandalar's case, a cool dinosaur. <laughs> Do like the dinosaur. There's, the Zandalar forms are really good. I wonder if he'll I, if overnight the Zandalar just became like astronomically popular druids because of all their forms. Ooh, well, ding. it's different, which is nice. Yeah. 
something that uh, WoW doesn't do enough of, even though there's no limitation on doing so. I think everyone has different druid forms. They're just not massively different. That's what I mean. Like, they're not, they're yeah, not that they different. Always, they always made druid forms retain traits of the original form. Yeah, because the idea is that the spell is the same, but the animal yeah. that you're you're referencing may not be. But also, there's you main train traits from the origin race too, like tusks and ears. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Whatever your default yeah, race. Yeah, because like the because uh, like the the night elves turn into like a, a weird long eared uh, like like super like like bunny long ear uh, panther, whereas the. Uh, Torrin turn into like a lion with tusks. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. I'm, so something that weirded me out. I did. I, I, I want to look at their forums because they might look really weird, and I'm curious. Uh, one of the new races for Alliance is Kultiran. I think it's called the humans that are fat. Okay. Wait. Kind of, what? Are they just regular humans but fat? Yeah, well, it's the yeah, it's the it's the human faction from the new area. Like they have a, they have different body types. Uh, okay. But like, yeah. And I'm yeah. like, but I think here's the thing is I, 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 it went by me quickly, but I could have sworn today when I was in the enemy continent, I could have sworn that there was a Kultiran druid. And I was like, excuse me? I want to see what happens when a character is a. Uh... Our healer died. Oops, yeah, he did. I'm Let's, really uh, curious about, uh, I'm really curious about what their druid forms look like if they have to put human features on the animals. <laughs> like, does he have, like, dumb human ears on the, on the like, they're just fleshy and gross? <laughs> I feel like it would just be a regular animal. I feel uh, like humans are the default, uh, let's see. state. Coltier and druid. No way. Oh, motherfucker, they look rad. Kultir and druid forms are fucking incredible. They look like witcher monsters. Oh my fuck? god, they might be better than the than the Zandalar ones. Yeah, they look like witcher monsters. You know, like the Leshen and shit? Yeah. Like the one you saw in Monster Hunter? Yeah. They look like that kind of monsters. Oh god. Kul yeah, the Kultir forms look fucking cool. Damn. Targeted response. Targeted response. Targeted. Security breach in progress. Analysis of Actually, archives. Look how cool that bird form is. Countermeasures. I'm not listening to anything, I'm just watching that. Ah, you want to play hardball, eh? Look at this guy. Chat, look at this fucking form. Look how cool he is. He's getting hit by something though. Ow. Yeah, it's a stupid eye. It's, uh, background damage. Yay. To teach us a lesson. To teach us a lesson. Well, I gave our, I gave our healer a uh, soul stone. That'll hopefully stop <laughs> them if they die again. And that's some sassy business There's also right health there. stones again. I'm just, you know, they died. So I'll try to keep them from dying again. Be nice. I just like the the implication of like, well, you died once, so you may yeah. need this, bud. Well, I mean, I've learned from being an Overwatch healer. It's fair. I do need to level a healer in this game. <laughs> I was watching that video. I'll probably you level. I like probably level a lot faster. Oh, yeah, you're, you're watching the the <laughs> Eostux, uh coaching I, video. Of I love I love the first thing. It was like, okay, so. Uh, you're already fucking up in the very beginning. And I was like, dang. Yeah, the guy's first <laughs> action guy. had to be corrected. Yeah, I was like, oh man, this is already good. <laughs> There's an interesting counterpoint going on there about the value that I found interesting. Because uh, yeah, the, the, when I was playing as Baptiste, that if you're not when I was playing anything. as Baptiste, I saved somebody's life with uh, immortality field, but then a junk rat attack came, and everyone, and people were mad at me for not be, like saving them from the junk rat ult. Like, hmm. but at the same time, like I already, I did already get value out of my my immortality field. 
there's a it's tough because the junkrat ult people people are mistakenly thinking that baptiste is a an end all be all to one shot kill alt yeah. like oh now we don't have to die from these like yes but you still need to shoot the alt motherfucker still yeah. attack the junkrat ult like you know what my i a thing i feel like almost saving people uh, the no junkrat ult also requires like this universe where everyone's doing the opposite of what they do because when Junkrat's ult happens everyone spreads out in order to not get group killed and Baptiste's yeah. immortality field is a group protection skill so like yes. that's like, like I, I see a world where a team is like oh here comes the Junkrat ult everyone huddle and then you put the Whoa. lamp up but like yeah that's an organized team Every, like normally everyone scatters so it's like at most you can save a person with the uh, immortality field and honestly but at the same time okay, I, already, so you, I already you did stop say the junk rat all yeah and then they throw a diva all what do you do yeah you all just gonna like, like at the end of the day uh, like well. i didn't save that person from the junk rat ult but i already saved somebody else with that same ability like 10 seconds earlier so like still somebody got saved i think but oh, people fuck. also have a laser focus on the idea that they're the one person that's contributing and everyone else is fucking up and like every, and, it's every, and like they always think that it's everybody else's fault when something happens and there's also like yeah yeah like it, when you have supports on your team people often think oh that immortality field that mercy res that's for me huh. when like it's a, when both of them are like 30 second cooldowns and can only be used like on one person basically it's like but they st still somehow like like i hear it like every single uh on a regular basis, when you and Effie die, you like you're calling out to the Mercy to res you, and it's like, I, the Mercy's probably resing people aggressively. Like they probably did it already. Yeah, it's mostly. I think it's more of a hey, if you can, could you res me? I can take. Yeah. Like, I can. I can contribute. I again, it's. But I, it but all, I hear I like a, I hear a lot of like Mercy, Mercy, come on, you're not even doing anything. It's like, well, they, I think they spent it already. I think it's just gone. Like, they can't bring the cooldown back. Yeah. I, I think I a lot of my complaint is watching a Mercy not being mobile. Yeah. Like, a Mercy needs to be constantly moving. A Man. Mercy that's standing tells me, like, this Mercy's not Mercy playing. They're flipped not doing in, their job. Mercy flipped in my brain and is suddenly so fun to play. <laughs> I don't Mercy's know what, fun. You I don't just know have what to happened be, there. You just have to be proactive. It's a yeah. very, very proactive healer because everyone hates you. Everyone wants you dead. But you but also have the best mobility out of every healer. Yeah, it's a decent amount of mobility. Like, if you just keep spamming between, like, flying between all your different allies while slow falling and shit, you kind of just are really, you're just really hard to hit. You're yeah. like, you're like wrecking ball hard to hit. Maybe worse. Probably worse. Justice, right? No. My followers never die. Why? Why can he do that? What? People keep... Oh, oh, it's a paladin skill where he temporarily summons a horse, huh? Like the paladin... Yeah, he has the, the horse thing like it's, in Diablo. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, Diablo 3, the paladin can do a little horse thing. Because I'm like, hang... I'm like, I, my thing says we're inside. And <laughs> I can't do this. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Wait a second. How did you get that uh, horse in here? I think they left the instance and teleported back to the beginning. Are we down with the whole thing? No, but the boss is by oh. the entrance, so I think they teleported out and back in. Whoops. We're already And now he's in combat, so we can't teleport out. We're basically already there anyway. We yeah, Mercy's a lot of fun, us. but the, but that is another case of like that argument about value, about like do you spend it immediately or do you wait for a better target, but then you're wondering like will the better target come up so much later that I basically wasted a use of this ability? Yeah, so like on. you could have the cooldown would have come back in the yeah. time. There's a I there's, think there's it's a the limit. Whole, of, it's the whole idea of like the was it like a, a bird in the hands were two in the bush, like that argument is like Yeah. But what if it's hypothetically better later? It's like that might n literally not happen. But like there's definitely moments as mercy though where I'm like, ah, uh, a DPS goes down and then I res the DPS because I'm like, if we if we have one more DPS not go down, then that means we have the advantage in this team fight and we could win the team fight. Yep. But then literally a second later the tank goes down. I'm like, oh. So I mean that's the thing is that you it's you just, uh, that's you just, why there's you, two healers. And you just don't, you just don't know which one's gonna happen. 
Yeah. No, I, I don't and mean I don't mean the tank went down because I didn't heal them. I mean in, ter in terms of like the tank went down and I couldn't res them because I just spent it. And it's like which th there's definitely a back and forth of like, do I save it exclusively for when the tank or other healer goes down, or do I res a DPS be, uh, like on the spot because that can literally turn the fight around if the, if they if they think a DPS is down and then they, they just get back up and then it's like, haha. I would. I mean, I'd say that getting a DPS back up is always more valuable just because it gets the team fight started at an even ground. Most people will push on the presumption that someone's down. But if yeah. you res them, then the team they, fight yeah. can just crumble they, they from hear there. The, they, hear the, they hear about a pick and then they say, all right, let's push on that. And then it's like, yep. haha, and McCree's then, back, motherfuckers. <laughs> yeah, and that's it. That could that could literally, that McCree might have ult and ruin the entire push. Yeah. And so it's dangerous. You gotta be, that's why Mercy always is, you know, the target of ire. <laughs> oh yeah. Because she can, she can the res literally is scary. change. God, get... you weren't even there for the worst part when she could res a whole team at one time. Oh yeah, because like, that was her, that was... her ult. God, that was the Dark Ages. I fucking hated that. Like, oh, we did it, guys. We held together, and then a Mercy came out like from a corner and goes like, "Yeah, where everybody's back." Instantly cast. I was like, "Fuck." I want, I want Mercy to have a setting that I don't think she has. Four. Where if you start resing someone, you can't leave the ra the radius. What do you mean? Uh, so I swoop in as Valkyrie and try to res someone. But I'm also trying to evade incoming fire and not just stand completely still. Yeah. And uh, but I keep failing to res because <laughs> then I like I like leave the bubble because I it's it's always in Valkyrie I mean, form because that's when I can fly and shit. So I have a I have a third axis of fuck up that I can do. That's yeah. So you just I, gotta be I, really. I, I, I try to res someone then I end up flying away and it's like oh fuck. <laughs> yep. I definitely can't go oh, back no, for I another mean... res because then I'm definitely gonna die. But also, half the time I'll just die trying to res anyway. I don't know. But she's very fun. I was also yeah, wrong about her healing rate. I thought it was 30, but that's Zen's. Her healing rate is 50. Yeah, she's a good healer. I was like, when you said 30, I was like, man, this is that seems kind of low. That that girl can <laughs> heal like that guy. That girl can pocket people. That would be brutal. It is, you still, I, I was basing that on the fact that I'd, I'd seen that other number before, but also it is, an, it can be agony when you see a low health tank and then you start healing them and you're just sitting there waiting. <laughs> you're like, wow. Yeah. It's gonna take a while. <laughs> it's gonna fucking take oh, a while. I mean, because if they have 600 health, then that's gonna take 12 seconds to heal them. <laughs> and then I, they're that's taking why I always damage. Swap. I like, I keep, uh, I like hold left click and then right, 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 uh, as they're attacking. So like Pulse, right, Pulse like if it's a Reinhardt, as he swings, I right click so he gets a damage boost and then heal. Damage boost and then heal. Damage boost and then heal. Click. There you go. Oh, I have mail. I had to find Halls of Stone to cancel it out. Mail time, mail time, mail. Mail time. Maybe you can find your deserter and bring him as just desserts. <laughs> 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 Ha 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 what a true what a true icon. <laughs> Tim Curry. What a great man. I feel like all the greats leave us too early and all the fucking piles of shit stick around too Is long. Is Tim Curry dead? Yeah, Tim Curry died like a while ago. Tim Curry's alive. What? Yeah, I Tim Curry he's, died. He's 74. <laughs> Tim Curry's alive, you monster. He's just not in a good I, shape. He's like I Michael Fox. I he died. No, it's just Jim, Tim Curry and Michael Fox are just kind of a mess. So you're oh. just not going to see them around. Okay. Because I thought like last time I heard about him, he's like, well, he's got cancer and he's dead. I was like, oh, fuck. I don't think it was. I, think, I don't think cancer was it, but they both. I think they both have degener degenerative diseases. I think they're Definitely both not much better. It's not great news. Is Tim Curry a Republican? <laughs> is uh, that is that what came up when he when he typed is yeah, Tim Curry? <laughs> I, I, I typed Tim Curry and he's like Tim Curry a Republican? It's like what? <laughs> Why is that relevant? I don't give a shit. I don't base my politics off of what Tim Curry believes <laughs> like. Yeah. That's also like most old people are. Yeah. He's old. 
There are two types of Republicans, old people and capitalists. And it's pretty easy to tell so one. someone's a Republican. So, <laughs> it's only one type one of type. people. <laughs> That's not true. There could be... I mean... I'm I sure know. Putin's a Republican, but he's not a capitalist. <laughs> I mean, at the very least, he seems to only help Republicans win, so he must be a Republican. <laughs> yep. I had a really weird moment where I was playing a game called Not For Broadcast. The video just went up today. And uh, it was like Papers, Please, except you're, the, you're in the master control room of like a news station. So you're the one switching the cameras and stuff and like uh, controlling the feeds. Uh, in the live broadcast, which is like my fear like that's like terrifying to like have that kind of control that so many people see and it's live and it's like <laughs> And having to like run that all right and like make, make sure you catch all the swears and stuff like that is like That, that was always my like I always hear, heard about that deck DD that's live broadcast But it's on a delay of like two seconds and you have to like manually beep and stuff like that with swears yeah, and, I'm, uh, and, I was, that was... and I've always been like oh god that sounds like the most stressful job ever you're just sitting, like that, yeah. You're just sitting there in a constant, like, monitoring of, like, at any moment, they might swear and threaten my job. Uh, <laughs> at any moment, it could happen. Oh, shit. Yeah, I, that was that, that was a thing for uh, a local radio station I used to listen to at high school. I remember specifically, uh, they, like, they talked about this on, like, a, on, like, a well, five or... It was, like, a five or six second delay because they are like, guys, don't bother... Answer cursing we'll catch it and we delay it instantly yeah. like it doesn't go it we're not live like that that would be stupid it costs like a lot of money if you do bad things but uh i mean that, that's but, why but, you but have the reason so I, the reason i brought it up is that in papers please it's instantly really clear like instantly that the government is just a piece of fuck and like you just you hate the government because it's all horrible and you're just trying to survive in the society that's trying to kill you basically by just uh -huh. ringing Wait, you out. Because you, oh, you, you played paper, Papers, Please. You were yeah. there when I tried it for the first time in that stream. Uh, this game seems framed the same way, but I was like waiting for the government to show signs it was bad. <laughs> oh. Because they were like proposing socialist programs and like, uh, and like talking about like increasing funding to like education and healthcare by taxing the rich, and I'm like, okay. You're like, okay, cool. but what's the catch? Like, <laughs> yeah, where's I'm the like, I'm like waiting for them to be like, <laughs> I'm waiting for them to reveal themselves as being secretly evil in some way, because like, uh, presumably the the whole interesting mechanic would be like, how can I quiet? How can I like subtly resist this government as the control guy? by like letting certain things like sl like sneak through on the live television that'll like subvert their narrative or whatever but but they kept saying good things and i was like um <laughs> well well i guess we'll just do keep I, this <laughs> do i just be do i just do my job <laughs> cuz like, i was like a second. it kind of feels like me? i it kind of feels like i should just do my job <laughs> and things will work out <laughs> I, I think it might get worse later or something. They're already showing some if you a few iffy signs, but it was mostly just the tone of the game. Like the loading screen shows a guy in the control room, which is presumably you, but above his above him is a hand, like operating like a puppeteering like 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 that that like cross thing. Yeah, and it's yeah, like, like a puppet it's like it's really that's really unsubtle imagery about like the evils of the government. But I'm like just waiting for them to actually be evil. And I was like, hang on a minute, uh, can't can't tell, I can't tell if the uh, if the developers just having a slow burn on the evil or if they just really hate socialism <laughs> and think that that's inherently horrifying and I'll be against it. <laughs> I mean, some people keep believing that lie. Which is impressive, I'll say that. It was, it was, uh, things got, it was weird. But I ultimately didn't get far enough. I only played for two hours, which actually was still more than I was intending to play. Cause I, I thought, was, the, I, I thought, was gonna the, say, I thought, two hours seems like a pretty good amount of time to figure out if the government's. Yeah, I thought bad. the Let's Try was gonna be shorter than that, but, uh, it went for two hours. Uh, I thought, I thought I was gonna be able to beat the existing content in one go. 
Wow, but I was taking but I was taking longer. Well, I looked up other people's complete playthroughs and they were an hour and forty minutes. Wow, what the wait, what happened yeah. for you then? I don't know, I didn't look at their videos. I just saw the durations and I was like, ah, seems that seems doable. That's just how I sometimes that's just how I sometimes guess times. Uh but no, uh, I, I hit an instant fail mechanic, and then I was like, oh no, I quit. <laughs> you like hit an pay instant fail? Wait, you mean like, it was just like, alright, well, you fucked up, game over, goodbye. So there's a thing that this game does that's not like what Papers, Please does, which I think might be one of the more questionable choices the game has, is that in Papers, Please, if you make mistakes, you live with those consequences, and it just continues. But in this game... Yeah. In this game, well, if you... Well, there's like, you get punished in, you know... In this like game, the, like the if you don't screen. do a great if you don't do a great job, it'll like continue forward and say like that's the score you got and whatever, but still yeah. continue forward. And there's like visual novel segments where you make choices, and those clearly continue forward. But if you completely like fail a day, because uh, you get like incapacitated or like you get s or like so many bleeps get through or this or that goes wrong that like you fail to censor stuff that like you lose so much viewership that it drops low enough that you, it's considered a failure, it actually gives okay. you a game over screen and makes you start the day over. Wow. Which is kind of agony, actually. <laughs> uh, yeah, I would imagine doing uh, a, a job twice is not great. Yeah. Especially in, if it's the exact same thing. Word in Papers, for word. Please, you play a randomized seed of characters, but in this game, yeah. it, was a, it, was, it was live action. You're watching oh. like an actual, real, multi-camera setup of a broadcast, and it's, you know, it has a set duration from beginning to end. So if you yeah. fail, you have to start the entire thing over, or the entire segment over at least. And in this one's Which case, is... there was a 10 game, there was a 10 minute game of this completely baffling Nope, sport. I'm already out. I would not yeah. redo 10 minutes of anything. Exactly. I'm done. <laughs> there was a, it was a 10 minute broadcast of this, frankly, hilarious stream of a completely and utterly baffling sport that the entire time I was watching, I could not at all uh, parse what, if any, like actual rules it had or what the fuck the logic of it was. Uh, what? I, I could not figure out what the game was. Like, it looked like they were trying to throw balls in a bucket. And so I kept like, I had a camera on the bucket and a camera on each of the contestants and I kept trying to cut to whoever's turn it was and then cut to the bucket right when they threw it to see if it went in. That's, that was logically what made sense to me as That's, like a, yeah. as a broadcaster and I was having fun with that. But they were fucking, fun. but they were actively fucking with me because the sport, the, the, the sports rules made no sense. And every time I got closer to understanding it, I only got further from understanding it. Like every step of the way, I was like, what the fuck is happening next? Oh no. So it kept fucking with me. It was like a hard rock band song, but in the form of camera controlling, where I was just like, what do you want from me? Uh, and then the, uh, what happens is that protesters come in and they're running around nude inside of the, uh, they're running the around. Arena? Yeah, they're running around nude in in the area, and Ugh. so you have to cut. You have to keep cutting to the camera angles that they're not in, so you have to sort of like oh. stealthily evade their existence out of the screen by just cutting to whoever they're not next to at the moment. Because you can see all four cameras at once, but you only yeah. but the audience only sees whichever one you press the hot key for. So you're just rapidly cutting to like whoever doesn't have a naked protester in their scene, and I'm like, this is great. This is mechanically. This is mechanically really entertaining, and the sequence I mean, is really funny. It's but a then real right job. At, but then right at the end <laughs> of the entire sequence, my uh, my control panel just, like sparked and had like a little like arc lightning over it. And I was like, "What the fuck is that? I've never seen that before." And I pressed a hot key for one of the things, and I apparently got electrocuted and incapacitated on the spot, and knocked so that knocked my character out. And I failed and the so day and had to start it over. Oh, what? It didn't even tell you what that was it prior just, to you touching no, it? No, there was, it never, never, I don't know if it like was a thing that they expected to have come up before and I just got lucky, which, which made me unlucky or what, but it's like two that's, things went wrong there. One, an instant fail mechanic. That seems like a real bad punishment for yeah. her. And there's like three things wrong there. One, there's an instant fail mechanic that just fucking shows up out of like nowhere that I didn't have a chance to learn in advance in like a safe environment or, a, or at least a lower consequence environment. Two, you instantly fail the day and have to start the entire thing over instead of just like the papers please thing where you like 
just to suffer the consequences and continue the story. Well, but, but also the thing, it that... was like the longest level I had ever played because I was like 10 minutes deep and it happened at the very end of the broadcast. Yeah, that's why I'm confused. Yeah. Like this seems like something. It really uh, should have been handled better and taught to me better. But also maybe there shouldn't be an instant failure mechanic at all. Because that just seems I mean, like a douchey again, mechanic. I, I think, an instant failure mechanic is fine because that does happen in Papers, Please at some point. Yeah, uh, it's rare, but yeah. But here's the thing is that Papers, Please gives you a leeway with it. They explain like, OK, this is the thing. They like the first level is a very good uh, tutorial where it's really it's really hard to fail the first level. But you get a feel for the mechanics. You get done. You understand, like, okay, these are all the things. I need to check these books. I need to look at this paper. Uh, and as new stuff comes up, you you understand that. Like, it, it's not. It kind so, like, of you should have known nowhere. about that arc. But uh, there's there's like, some there, like, yeah. there's some good stuff going on. Like, there's the there's the bleep button that's on a two second delay, and you you have two video feeds. One is your control feed, and then the other one is the uh, live feed. And you can set the, okay. the volumes of the two of them separately, so you can have like the your main feed be at full volume, and you can have the live feed, which is the two second delayed feed, on like an echo at a lower volume, uh -huh. so you can kind of hear both of them at the same time, which I actually thought was really abstracting, but that's how they seem to recommend it go. But the uh, there's a few things going on like that, and there's the uh, like, but you're supposed to yeah, when something when something comes up. In the uh, in in your feed, you have like you, you see like a little like audio wave, and you can like see when to bleep and so on. Which is which, and everything was hotkeyed, so like you, you everything was on the screen where you could click it, but at the same time it was also hotkeyed, so you could memorize the hotkeys. So you had yeah. numbers one, two, three, four were your four camera feeds, and space bar was bleep. But then they oh, also had they seems... also they also had A and D turned your head. And this is where they really fucked with me, is you could look around in the office, which they set up early Why? on, because the tutorial guy talks to you like the uh, Five Nets at Freddy's phone guy. And you look to your right and then click on the on the phone, and that's how you get like the speakerphone talk where he, te where he teaches you how to play the game and everything. But uh, to your, and then you press, when you look to your left, there's a fuse box that has all of the things plugged in. And so you, you manually power on all the things that you need to work with. So I, And I think you can upgrade the overall number of power and I think there's like a whole upgrade system of like different devices you can plug into that that'll require different amounts of power and so on so I think when the thing sparked what they wanted me to do was look left turn the power off then turn it back on or something but yeah it straight up came out of nowhere so I wasn't ready for it there's also like other fun as funny aspects where like at when the show's getting ready to start you like you're, you're turning on all your power and flipping all the switches on and everything you look under the desk and there's a there's a shelf full of tapes like VHS tapes, and they're the ads you can run. So you preload the ads by putting the three ad, the three ad tapes and three VCRs, and yeah. then and then on your main interface, uh, next to all the other stuff, there's these three play buttons, and on top of your screen there's a there's a numeric countdown of a timer, and so what happens is once each segment ends, you then press the play on one of the ads. <laughs> And it's like you have to like, and you have to be like sharp and on on the ball with that. I kept forgetting about my. I got so focused on like being a good camera guy and all these other things that I would just straight up like a segment would end and then the, then the newscasters would start talking to each other like candidly and I'd be like, oh fuck, I was supposed to play that. <laughs> it's like, it's, but but our healer doesn't have any mana. Why? There's so much beautiful love in that game, but its failure state makes it kind of insufferable. It can be hard because, uh, again, I think it's just it's a matter of they know the mechanics and they probably didn't think about yeah. uh, making that aware to the player. Man, our healer does not have a mana bar. It's concerning. No, they've, they've said it multiple times that they're out of mana. <laughs> so I'm hope, a little confused about why this tank is Mitigate boring. damage entirely. <laughs> oh, we're going to be... Oh, this looks so... Oh, God. Am I supposed to shoot these or what's going on? Uh, nope, they're, they're immune. immune. So yeah, you just, just have to avoid them. Run from them. I guess I'll summon a yep, soul well. Just run from. Them. They they die eventually. Ah! They're chasing there me. There they go. Now back into that guy. It's just part of the boss. Giga giga gimmicks. 
Giggity giggity gimmicks. Giggity giggity gimmicks. But no, it's a, it a really neat game. I hope they, uh... It's an early access. I hope that in its finished form, it handles some of those elements more smartly. Oh, Because, like, that, yeah, I, having I, I a fail state just fucking done. come out of nowhere is a nightmare. That should not be a thing. And also, like, definitely the final version needs to have, like, either more forgiving checkpoints so there aren't 10 minute segments you have to replay. Or just actually just be like, ah, you failed that segment. You don't you get you don't you don't make money or whatever. Yeah, like, it, it yeah, seems it, odd that it, you would it, get a game over screen rather than just docked your pay or something. Yeah. It's very unlikely that in a real job you get fired immediately. Like there's a lot of <laughs> Yeah, there's a lot of There's a lot of funny really funny segments. Like there's a part where uh this guy's this guy's doing, there's like an at-home interview that's happening, so like we're remotely interviewing people in their homes, and while this person's going on about the judicial system or whatever the fuck, his wife comes in because he's because, okay. uh, uh, she's leaving him. <laughs> uh, like right in the middle of the interview. <laughs> wait, what? She's yeah. interrupting the interview to tell him that she's leaving yeah. him? Uh, okay, seems like a weird, not realistic time to do that, but sure. It's just these moments. Die everything. You know, actually, I keep seeing on uh, online people keep posting. Oh shit! Clips, Troll. Like, because a lot of the, uh, you know, like a lot of news stations are having people work from home. Uh, and there's always like these cute little moments of like, all right, well, it's just me and my dog and we're going to do the news. And I'm like, this is way better news. Why can't all news just be <laughs> yeah. like, why can't every news be some more news? <laughs> well, not even just some more news. I just mean like, there's literally a weatherman who's like, here's my golden retriever. He's just really fucking needy. And I'm like, that's beautiful. I want this in the news. I don't want to watch you. You suck. I see humans every day. I want to see a dog. <laughs> Deliver all of your sad news with like adorable dogs that don't give a fuck about what you're doing right now and just want to exactly. be loved. Exactly. I that's all I care about. I, I only spike. care about seeing <laughs> pets get love. I don't care about sad news. Oh wow, some damage just went out. Oh yeah. Maybe it's because they're dying. all standing in that scary death circle. Probably. <laughs> Probably does uh, help. Some more news confuses me. I don't know what's <laughs> Some like more the quality. The, the quality of it went down dramatically, even though I can. Yeah, even though I know he has a phone and that phone has better picture quality than whatever like the camera they're using currently is at home, which feels like a webcam camera, which is never a good choice. Maybe it's just the aesthetic. Maybe. But then the he has like an AT2020 next to him, and I'm like, bro, that's like that's a that's an actual microphone. Yeah, I'm actually surprised how often I just see that everyone has that exact microphone. Hundred bucks. Like, there's a lot of there's a lot of people doing podcasts from home right now, and every single one of them has the exact same microphone that I do. I'm like, huh, there it is. I remember. What's up? <laughs> I remember Kel was uh, helping a friend of his do a podcast, and he was like. Uh, they're gonna buy like blue yetis, and I was like, uh, okay, well, where, how are they gonna set it up? It's like, well, they're just gonna put one in the center of the room and use it that way. I was like, uh, <laughs> I think it would be cheaper just to get some nice AT twenty twenties. I mean, it wouldn't be cheaper; it'd be better. Well, it would be cheaper if they were trying to do an investment here. Like, if they're investing into something, it would be a cheaper investment than having to go buy a microphone, then buy. A, Two better microphones later. Yeah. Future proofing when you realize that. Yeah. It all depends on how much you want to invest, though. There is always the aspect of, like, what if this doesn't go anywhere? That generally. When people are, like, asking about getting into this stuff, I generally recommend not investing too much in it because, like, being a YouTuber or broadcaster or whatever basically never goes anywhere. And so oh, you yeah. should assume I mean, that a, you're never making back the money you put in. Yeah. That you don't I, want to overinvest. I ironically made my money back with this uh, with this entire setup just by uh, just by work, like just my regular job. 
because I had right. to do a tutorial video this for the company. This isn't going well. And having a nice microphone and... Uh, We're alive! Yeah, having a nice microphone and all this setup for it, it was like people people at, the, at my office were confused like why was it why did it sound so good what were you doing i was like i i have a microphone i'm magic <laughs> like uh, magic. we do video conferencing obviously because we're remote and in my in, when we do the video you can see my because you know my setup is not it's not like i'm hiding my microphone so i have a nice fucking microphone in front of my face and everybody's like has their eye you know has their headphones in like everyone has headphones. garbage audio set up yeah, they're just like, man, wow, I got, I got, I got used to Effie having a bad microphone, but once we get, once I sent him a good microphone and then that broke and he had to go back to the bad one, it was harder to deal with than ever before. <laughs> like once I've heard better, it was so hard. It's, it's hard to go back to oh. Effie having a shitty microphone once it broke. It's like, no, you don't know the half of it, man. I, it doesn't help working the, at a the, business the audio balancing is, the is somehow always wrong. Audio. Is that, oh, yeah. There's somehow always something wrong with his audio balancing where it's always, it's on a regular, he's almost, I think he, I think there's an additional thing going on where he's fucking up though, where I think he's just, he has it like set, like where it's gains fucking and it keeps clipping because like it's, I think it's worse than it was before. <laughs> like he changed his settings for the new microphone and then hasn't fixed them for the new, uh, for the uh, old one now that he's back to the old one. That's just like, ugh. It's, ah. it's 8.30 in the evening. I don't want questions like, are you good at Excel? I'm trying to fucking enjoy my life. <laughs> like, uh, how does our this? healer always die first? Jeez, oh, it says get closer uh, to him. Shit. Why are we supposed to get closer to him? Yeah, wait, why would we get closer to him? Doesn't he do the thing on the ground? Doesn't he have a Nova? I feel like I need to set up a second uh, chat feed. That's just what people say. Uh, that's what I do. Cause so much of the, so much of, there's so much text spam, but like some of it, I technically don't want to not go. I don't really want it to go away necessarily. Some of this information is useful, <laughs> but I think uh, I need to create uh, like a second window elsewhere on my screen that shows like what people are saying in my gr instance group and my guild separately from that. Cause I, like it, it, it gets blown away so quickly by like. All the NPCs that never stop shouting things and like the loot spam and then and sometimes there's like the rep gain, like can, like the rep yeah. gain is is scrolling so fast right now because every kill gives us rep and it's just like a nightmare. That is that is a lot of items from that instance. All right, but I, I, I think I need to set up my interface for all that stuff. Yeah, if you just go to chat, you can set like, oh, I want the instance uh, and group know, and they're not requested for now. Let me go in the air. Okay. Uh, give me one second. I will be right back. I need to answer this question for somebody. Oh, you are being actually asked like... Yeah, I'm actually being asked like, hey, I got to call you. Excel's having a problem. It's like... <laughs> fine. If you must. So one second. Really funny. R.I.P. Andrew. He's dead. Dead, dead. Goodbye to Andrew. He's dead. Ah! Uh Ah, Hello. What a Ow. die. All right. Yeah, I'm you think sorry. You, you were gone for like an hour, weren't you? I'm sorry. <laughs> I've got like probably six months left in me before this job destroys me emotionally. That's what that's what Bird says. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to tech. <laughs> yeah, that's what Bird says about his Amazon job. He wants to leave and, make, and go into game development. What the fuck? That's even worse. I oh, know. Sorry. He wants to go into engine development. That sounds way better. Okay, yeah, yeah I was gonna no, say, he has, holy no, he shit, wanna, game design. No, he wants to do game engine development, which is like, because okay. obviously you don't want to be a game developer. That's like one of the worst jobs. I was like, holy shit, I, I want to go like live in the mountains. I don't even want to look <laughs> at computers. I don't want to look Did at people, computers. you just have to like computers? help somebody with Excel for like an hour and a half or something? Yeah, you know what I ended up doing? I was I, like, I look. switched to my rogue like an hour ago, but I think I was playing as my warlock for a while alone too. So I think you've been gone for like an hour and a half. <laughs> so they were like, I have all this data. It won't go into a line chart. And I was like, first off, I'm not an accountant. Second of all, I hate Excel. Third yeah. of all, all right, let's do that, this. That was, and my so last, I looked. that was my last job was Excel. I wanted to die. So their data wasn't correct. They're, they were trying to- Just everything was wrong. 
everything was wrong. And so I, I went, look, do you have an exam? Do you, can, do you have an example of what you want the data to look like? And they're like, yeah, here's a here's a PDF of exactly what the data needs to look like. I just have to change the dates and some. Uh, basically, I just need to change the text. Perfect. Give me that PDF. I took it, opened it in Photoshop, removed all of the text, replaced opened it the text. In, wait, wait. <laughs> you you, you yeah. opened it in Photoshop? Yeah. I just said, give me the chart. What does that so mean? I the, so I took the chart. Did they you had just a not, chart. You just didn't fix. Oh, so you only changed the chart. Yes. You didn't fix the data? I no, I didn't need to change the data. The data was correct. The dates were wrong. So I just took the data. I removed the dates, added the dates back in Photoshop. It, the same font, same color. It looked the exact same, just with different dates. And was like, here you go. Oh, that's I. After trying, because I spent like after an hour, I was like, I can't do this anymore. It's almost 10 o'clock. I'm not playing Excel games. Give me the data. I'll just, I'll just do it the old fashioned way. I'll do the fucking Ocean's Eleven fucking forgery style. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to die. I'm gonna and the die. The person was like, "That's that's good. That looks perfect." I was like, "Yeah, I, great." Ah, fuck! I meant to hit gouge to stun him again. God. Oh, that's revealing. What? Our friend that we play, uh, our our guest that we play uh, oh, paladins oh. with, has revealed that they don't have Overwatch. You don't have Overwatch? Oh no! Like, oh no! I wonder. I, get... I do sometimes wonder how many people. Like, I mean, that's, experience I that's both games on equal footing and then are like, I like this one more. Versus how many are like, this one was free. <laughs> I can afford this one. Yeah. Uh, which is, I, which again, I don't, I have no... Because I do, I, you know. It is I interesting don't how many the... might have just only be playing Paladins because they just had it. That's well, it. and some, and you know, again, some can't literally yeah. take anything else. There's it's there's a surprising uh, surprisingly high number of people who do not have uh, the affordability to buy oh, yeah. like full priced video games. No, that's that's an ongoing thing in our in our multiplayer group is that we have we have people that just can't buy new games, and so yeah. that's why we play the same games basically every week, or we play some or we play a free game because it's like. Whatever budget of games people already have is kind of what we're stuck with because we have some people that are just hesitant to buy games for the sake of just being like, oh, let's play this this week. And then we have several, we have some people that just straight up can't buy any games. And so, like, yeah, some people just can't afford it. But yeah, so on a given multiplayer session, we just see who showed up that day and then make a choice accordingly. And in many, many cases, it just kind of defaults to, I guess we'll play Overwatch because. <laughs> The combination of people is just, eh, I mean, these people have Overwatch, and they're not going to buy anything new. And, then and, yeah, I mean, and, that's... and if we have a hyper-specific combination, we might be like, ah, this group can play Carcassonne. Because we because that group already has Carcassonne. It's cheap now. Yeah. Yeah, well, you can. Like, if, if we ever just have, like, you and Bird, then I'll be like, oh, let's play Viscera. But then, like, Effie will log on. I'm like, well, never mind. <laughs> no Viscera this week. And then the wait for more viscera continues. <laughs> I'm surprised viscera hasn't uh, been in a humble bundle. Yeah, I don't know. I know the the current humble bundle has uh, Carcassonne and a bunch of other games, including Splendor and like there was like there was is a table. A, is that was, an actual bundle or is that the choice? Uh, it's the bundle. Okay. Just the one I linked in, in our Discord. Yeah. Uh, and it also has, like, there's a game I just played that's from the creators of Dixit. I, I just did a let's try of it, and that one's in that bundle. Dixit? Yeah. You re Do you remember Dixit? Maybe. Dixit's the game where you play these, like, beautiful painting cards and, say, a clue, and people have to try to figure out, like, to identify your oh. card based on the clue. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because you say, you say you say a clue and play a card face down, then everyone else plays a card based on your clue, and then everyone tries to guess what the original card was, and which ones are like yeah. all the copies. It's kind of, it's a little Jackboxy. I uh, we played that. But, at, but this other mystery, yeah, we played it at, at at Marty's place. Yeah, I was gonna say Marty has like the physical. Yeah. I've I've only played Dixit physically, but those develop oh. the, those people made a mystery game, and I played I did a less try of, of the digital copy of that. And it's it's interesting. I guess it's interchangeable with Dixit because they're also just uh, cards with pictures on them. 
<clears throat> huh. But, uh... Oops, set the calls. Oh, I think, I think that's the Skeksis. Skeksis? Yeah, from Dark Crystal. Please? They were in the game? <clears throat> yeah, Burning Crusade. There was an entire oh, region yeah, of, yeah. of, of uh, Skeksis that they called the Sethic. Here they are. It's oh. not... Listen, Blizzard doesn't have a lot of original ideas, and they especially don't spend those original ideas on on WoW. <laughs> so they'll totally be like, "Oh yeah, we'll we'll I'm put so we'll, we'll put Skeksis in our game. We'll just move the letters around a little bit." <laughs> hey, look, man, Jim it's Henson like that, was a really it's, cool it's like guy. that meme of like, "Can I copy your homework? Sure, just change it a little bit so people can't tell." And then you get the Sethic <laughs> instead yeah. of the Skeksis. Oh. One second. Basically, how it works. But yeah, our, our group only has, has access to so many games, and we're just kind of like constantly hamstrung by that, because every single week when we meet up on multiplayer on like Saturday, we don't know who will show up, and then whoever does show up, it, every single person adds an additional filter to which games we can play, until like a larger group of like six people shows up, and then we basically just have Overwatch left anyway, and so that's just usually just what we have. Uh, do media key sites not give up group keys? No, they don't. Uh, all of the like officially handled like okay, all of the all of the websites that kind of automate the process of being able to request a key and stuff like that, which is how a lot of keys are distributed right now to creators. Uh, they just send you one code. Yeah, it's kind of so. The only way for me to multiplayer would be, in many cases, to have a group of friends that all have YouTube channels that are doing well and they all request the same key and then we all get accepted, which even that's a gamble because I get rejected all the time. Uh, and even though I like I give coverage to so many games, even I get rejected a fair bit. But uh, a lot of our people in our group are like ex-YouTubers that kind of gave up on the whole thing. A lot of people are like, oh, I had a chance one, one spot time, but I don't really maintain it. And, and then it also never really went anywhere, so they don't really have any grounds to request things on anyway. Yeah, that's kind of the tough, that's kind of the tough part. That's, how, that's usually how we met them in the first place. Ah, oh, the good but, old uh, days. Every now and then you get an email that's just like, fucking keys! And you just get a spew of keys. But even those can be like, half the time, if, if, with, the, with how spammy they are, sometimes they just don't work. Like, we got a... That's last time it was Yumi, Bird, and Effie. Uh, yeah, we tried, I we tried one, which all the keys were yeah. gone. <laughs> yeah, I opened up an email for an escape room game that had four keys in it. I was like, oh, let's play this game tonight. It's like, something new this week. We'll play this random game from my inbox. And all of the keys were already used. So, like, it's like, oh, right, well, fuck that. But, uh, no, like, this week when we played that uh, hide and sneak game yep that that was because there was keys in an email and so that's how we played it but even then it was only three keys it's a four-player game that had three keys for some reason so uh bird had to buy it so he bird bought it and then he returned, he returned it i think because it because it, it wasn't good <laughs> oh but that would have been nice like that's like an email like that could potentially start a multiplayer series of like oh wow we got a bunch of codes for this game and like, I gave one to Effie and one to Andrew, and those are the two most common people for multiplayer sessions. And then, like, you, if you're, like, if you choose, the, the, like, the fourth person just right, like, you kind of end up with, like, a, a new multiplayer game that we can play whenever that particular configuration of people shows up. Well, but, uh, I think the, it's, that's yeah, incredibly think... hit and miss, because the type of people that are, like, just unpromptedly giving you, like, a, like four keys at once in an email are often the worst games. <laughs> They're so that's, bad. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's it can be it can be a gamble for sure, but I think there's there is some I don't know there there's some challenges involved with trying to do any kind of collaborative uh, gaming session, like even yeah. outside of playing outside of YouTube, it's still it's hard to like. Oh yeah, just, like it's hard to get a group of people to play a game just in general. Yeah, that's why. Yeah. That's the that's the power of popular games, is that everyone has them. <laughs> so yeah, like games, so like true. so many people play games like League of Legends and Terraria and Factorio. 
and uh, other examples, just because so many people have them, there's a momentum to that. Like, you'll end up buying it because you'll just be at a group with a group of people where literally all of them but you have that one game. So you're like, I guess I'm buying Stardew Valley. <laughs> and then you go play Stardew Valley with your friends. Or whatever multiplayer game's hyper popular. It's because it, it sucks you in because all your friends already have it. And then that kind of... That momentum is kind of what pushes it. Because uh, otherwise it's really hard to just get people to like... It's really hard to just be like, Yo, this game looks neat. Everyone come buy it and play it with me. <laughs> like that's... Even for with people that can afford video games, it's a big ask. To, yeah. to do on people. Like people will often just be like, eh, and like not respond. <laughs> and be like, meh, meh, meh. Hey, I feel like I'm I'm always down for games, but there's a there's always a, the hesitation in my head of like, mm, is it worth it though? Like what if we, like what if we never play this again? <laughs> yeah, like what if we just play yeah. it once? Speaking of which, we need I, to get we I, I keep forgetting, but we need to get at some point we need to figure out like kind of. Like a schedule or something? I don't know. For like a uh, Monster Hunter. Oh yeah. Uh, maybe that'll be our next project after we finish leveling our WoW characters. Is to like find a day for Effie, and then that's the new Andrew time slot. Is the Andrew and Effie over uh, Monster Hunter like actually on a schedule thing? Oh boy. Because he bought the expansion, and we haven't played it a single time since then. Uh, whenever he got the expansion. But it's just like we, but we need we need to like play it consistently because the game's really, like that's a difficult game. Yeah, <laughs> and it's like, definitely so you, not you a need casual. To be, you need to be playing it like on a weekly basis or something at least, so it's staying fresh, ish, yeah. so that you can keep building on your past experiences. As opposed to us, we keep coming back to it like months later each time. But like it has to be like set on some day that isn't the normal multiplayer day because other people always show up. That's true. We have like we have to have some kind of like plan on how to play Monster Hunter to ever make it anywhere. Because I I would love for people to stop fucking asking me to play with Monster Hunter all the time. Because wow, they does that comment come up a lot? This this is a lot of pulls. It's, it's one of my it's one of my few like incomplete playthroughs on my channel. Is Monster Hunter World because that expansion was just it just got too hard and I just was like suffering kind of. You're like and doing like, this with friends. Yeah. Like, I'm gonna tap out. It's funny because it's like I've said it before, but like I've played, I've fought harder bosses before in like Souls games than anything that's in Monster Hunter. But it's just the fact that like it's like it's like what I said before about like not for broadcast. Like it's the time sink of a failure. Yeah, the, like Monster yeah. Hunter failing in Monster Hunter is so punishing because the fights are so long. Like the the game's fun and entertaining, and the fights are cool. And I enjoy the challenge to some extent, but like, the fights are so long that it's just so punishing to be like, all right, time to start over. And then, I... you're, and then you're like, fuck, I'm recording, a, I'm trying to record a playthrough on a schedule, like, I can't handle like, sitting down for two hours and then realizing I still haven't beaten the boss. And it's like, do I, do I make like four videos of me failing to beat the boss? Like, do I take this two <laughs> hours and cut it into four half an hour videos and that's the series? Because I don't really want to do that. So then I'm like, well, then I got to edit it down to like one episode that ends in me triumphantly beating the boss. Like, that's how I <clears throat> generally yeah. had handled Dark Souls, is I would like go at a boss for a while and then I'd finally beat them and then I'd edit that into like a kind of a compilation playthrough, uh, playlist thing where I'd have like, here's my first attempt. And then here's the first attempt where I hit phase two. Then here's the first attempt where I hit phase three, and like I play those in full, and there's like a progression to them and an escalation, and then there's, and then you have like a few highlight, like particularly like funny or bullshitty deaths, and then you show the successful play uh, attempt, and then I do the unabridged video that's like here's the marathon video of blah, but like those here's were four hours of me fighting yeah. fucking, <laughs> but like those were always super taxing to do in Dark Souls and Monster Hunter. The Iceborne was taking even longer, and it's like, oh god, some of these bosses are taking longer than any boss has ever taken in all of Dark Souls to beat. But it's just because the f each attempt is so long. Yeah. Whereas That's, if it's a, whereas is... if it's a multiplayer time slot, I don't give a fuck. I don't edit this shit. <laughs> Not really. <clears throat> I just 
I basically just put the VOD up and I'm just like, here you guys go. It's the multiplayer time slot. It just kind of gets uploaded. Because multiplayer is seen as like my, I see that as like my free time. So whatever happens here, it just kind of goes up as like a VOD. Although I do edit Monster Hunter more than any other multiplayer game because of the lobby time. Well, yeah, there's a lot of like just so, hanging around. Sometimes 50% of the session is us sitting around in the lobby, like planning what to do next or waiting for somebody to finish upgrading something or whatever. So like that, I do edit that stuff out. But I'm not, but I'm not choosy about like, oh, is this, should I show all these attempts or whatever? I'm like, no, fuck it. Multiplayer, go. <laughs> all of it. Oh, that tank's gonna die. Is a tanker gonna die? <laughs> is he a tanker die. gonna die? Oh, tank fucking died. Because he pulled too much. Yep. Okay. Uh, We's all gonna die. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, we still have a healer and a tank, and I res the tank. But then you died, unfortunately. That's okay. I was hoping I think you the tank's would... got it. Oh, no, he's not. Cause, oh, God. Because we have a healer, right? Or, oh, did the healer die? Did you just okay. rest the healer? Oh, shit. Wait, isn't that the healer? No, it's the other DPS. He's yep. still alive, but isn't. For no res me. I guess he was dead. Then Reiski is enter. That was confusing. Oh, he died first, I guess. I saw him with a health bar, so I thought he was alive. I didn't realize he was dead. Whoops. I didn't realize he was dead either. How did he die? Did he die first? Who? The DPS guy? No, the, t the healer. I think the t healer might have died first. I'm not really sure how that managed to happen. That, I don't know how that would have happened. Probably... Doesn't make sense why we're not pulling everything, though. We're kind of leaving a lot behind. Yeah. So, we're usually here hey, just to dying. quickly get the... Like, finish the instance reward, not the, uh... Like, per mob experience. Yeah, that's true. That does give you a way better... I'm about to be out of this uh, dungeon category. Uh, what level are you? 79. Holy smokes! I'm only 77. Why am I so far behind? Because you did Excel spreadsheets. Ah, oh, fuck. That's right. Yep. You you left for work, and I played for a little while thinking, like, he'll be... He's, he'll be back any minute now, right? I thought I was going to be back in like yeah. a minute. I, I, like I, I was kept thinking he'll like... be right back. And I'm like, I, like I, it, it eventually, like, finally, like, I hit a tipping point where I'm like, I, I should switch to my rogue. <laughs> so I switched to my rogue and I played my rogue for, I still played my rogue for like an hour or two. And I'm like, fuck, he's still gone. Uh, you were gone for a while. So I kind of like got a bit ahead. I'm a 15% into level 79. Oh, it's not too bad then. It takes so long to run back. It does take a while. Yep. I never actually got into a lot of free MMOs. Uh, I, it's often not a great time. <laughs> I, I did play Toontown. $15 a month was a pretty standard price for MMOs, and any of the ones that went free to play usually went that way because they weren't catching a market. Well, I meant more of like the ones that start that were that started out free to play. Like oh, Wizards oh 101 god. was free to play. Oh god. Um, a lot of Arcadia. A lot of Arcadia, whatever. It's called. <laughs> Arcadia? That's one of your first things to mention. That was one of like the oh first my god. Uh, MMOs. Well, besides, uh, yeah, for uh, for Arcadia was one of the first MMOs I played. Why are you reminding me for Arcadia existed? <laughs> it's the thing. uh <laughs> Dude, I learned so much in Tracadia about, like, things I probably shouldn't have did, learned about. Did you actually, like, did, were you actually playing it? Yeah, I played, I played Whoa. it for, like, a year. What? Why? 
I had Wait. no idea it was like about a furry community. I was just like, oh, this is kind of cool. You can hang out with people and you just blah, like, blah, blah, blah. You just like innocently played for Kadia for a year while not understanding <laughs> yeah. like what you were walking I, into and just not. Yeah, oh yeah. Just continuing to like not take it in for years. The, well, like, I, it's not that I didn't take it in. I just didn't hang out in the sexual sections, I guess. Are there sexual just, sections? Oh, yeah, because the the reason I left was because someone... The reason <laughs> I stopped playing was because I learned that... Uh, I learned Did what yiffing like means. <laughs> and I, it took so, you a year? It took me a year. Was there even uh, gameplay in that game? I thought the game was like Second Life, where you just like stand around and talk to people or something. Come on, are you not healing? Clap, clap, dude. Press the button. I mean, that was two pulls. That was a bad time. Yeah, this tank is also very Mistakes greedy, and he's getting punished for it. Well, but he not saw the he lesson. saw the guy. I think he saw the guy. Like I, I was sitting near him, and I saw the line of sight a little bit. I'm like, I think he saw the guys on the left and wanted to pull them, but the, there was people standing behind the doorway on the right, and so it, like. Two entire Die. mobs came after him. And there Where goes, did you go? There goes the healer again. I'm real confused. Yep. What? Well, this guy rezzed you, and then this other guy's gonna res. Yeah. Or no. There's a res the guy chain. Rezzed the tank. Well, no, he rezzed the healer. Or, sorry, he the healer. Because the, the healer died first again somehow. I don't know how the healer keeps dying. I'm really curious I'm about that. Of, I'm taking one of these. But, but uh, the, the healer died and then... Uh, so he res the healer no. and then the healer res you. I can only res someone like every like 10 minutes. <laughs> so fun fact. Uh, much like the story I explained last time we played WoW. Uh -oh. I learned about yiffing by getting hit on in a bar in Fercadia. You just always getting hit on in bars even when you're a digital avatar? I... I'm apparently an easy mark. I got something on my face. Oh my that god, says, you lived guy. you lived Tuka and Birdie. Oh yeah, I guess I kinda did, yeah. <laughs> the, the, that like the like fucking like sex game that they're Well that's they're what playing. that's what that was a joke of. That was yeah. basically for Katia. Yeah. Jesus <laughs> Christ. It, but I was like so I would sit in a bar and I would hang out and talk with people because it was that's where a lot of people were. It's and definitely it was, for Katia, because it's like the word Arcadia. Okay, then yeah, for Katia. Yeah. Whereas Katia uh, isn't a thing at all. <laughs> it's just a, a noise you're setting, you're making. Then for Katia it is. Yeah, but, like Arca uh, like Arcadia Bay, uh, which I think was from Outer Worlds. Uh, no, Arcadia Bay is from uh, Bioshock. Uh, no, what the fucking uh, Life is Strange. Oh, you're right. That is Life is Strange. Uh, and then like, uh, there is like an arcade, there's, an, there's a part of, it's where I learned the oh, term more or less, is that I bud, think, bud, I think, you're the healer, what are you doing that far up? I think he just tried to pull the wrong mob. He, he just pulled like two mobs. What is he doing? This He's healer's throwing? fucking insane. <laughs> and now he's gonna die. Uh... Huh. <laughs> Choices were made, I guess. Uh, but uh, I think I think a term... I think the first time I le learned the term arcade was from Bioshock. Because you get to, like, the green area, and it's called the arcade, and I'm like... What? <laughs> That's not what an arcade is, silly video game. I play video games, I know what an arcade is. <laughs> silly video games, I'm playing this in an arcade. Yeah, but like, yeah, there's just like, I guess there's another word for arcade that's like some kind of like artificial plant area, or maybe it's a park, I don't know. I actually still don't know what it means. I just heard, I just have associations, so I have like, I have like a context I associate it with. Ow! I thought the fight was over. Who killed me? <laughs> uh, the ghost. The, ghost can, the <laughs> ghost can one shot instant kill you. Fuck. I didn't see him. I thought it was over. Yup. Is he not gonna. Is he gonna res me? Like, the, the tank agrees with me for sure that he's wondering why the healer's pulling. Yeah. <laughs> uh, do the run back. Fuck. 
Yeah, sorry, I, I don't have a res. Yeah, I was mistaken. I saw the troll and thought he was a, a druid or something, but he's a rogue. I think but we have. No, I, think I we also have a druid though. Yeah, I don't we do know. have a troll druid. I, I don't know how. I think it was somebody in in middle school told me about uh, the game, and was like, "Hey, you should go and check and like check this game out. It's fun." Shit. <laughs> and I was like, okay. And it was like, I just, I met cool we, people. We just encountered people for Acadia, but I didn't realize you knew what it was. Oh, I, yeah, I, I have extensive you, time. I just didn't want to admit it because why would you say that? It. It's yeah. like, <laughs> like, I, once we, uh, I learned we were what it was, we were it playing, was... we were playing Zoo uh, Tokyo Jungle, and we yeah. got a bunch of furries in our audience. And as a result, I kept getting suggested to play like Wolf Quest and Furcadia. What Furcadia. are you doing? And as a result, like that that's the first time I heard about Furcadia was when people wanted us to play Furcadia and Wolf Quest because of Zoo because we had all these Tokyo Jungle audience members, but then we didn't Although you eventually played Neko Jishi. I did. Which is definitely t dipping into that well. Uh but more explicitly than ever before, because that's just a bunch of a bunch of actual furries that wanna fuck. That's a I I mean I don't and, know. I and other Japanese plot, cat girls still. tends to be a a sub <laughs> Sub feel or a like no, a subcategory. You're, that you're I thinking don't. of the other the other game, Nekopara. Uh oh, oh, Neko Neko Jishi, Neko Jishi sorry. Yes, was yes. the furry one. Like it was a bunch of tiger men. Yes, Neko Jishi was very much just furry bait. It's like pick your body type. Which one would you like to do a fuck on? I saw screenshots of that, and I was distracted by the fact that there's clearly the game clearly had like pre-painted like scenes the way that visual novels often do yeah and then it had the like conversation art and it was clearly done by two different artists oh yeah so they they definitely like the, there was a background artist and there and was like, a character designer and it, why is this guy always like dying because he keeps running into fights what, is, what class is he he's a monk does does the monk have to melee? Can he just uh, stay away? Because he seems to be bad at. Monking. He can, but he's just not. Yeah, he's, I, don't, I don't think I don't, he's I've never just, played a monk as a healer, so I don't know how they work. Does he have to be in combat? Because that seems to be a mistake. Uh, oh, uh, watch out! This, okay, so this guy does a giant nova where you have to hide behind a pillar. Yeah. It's one. That's why I'm not. I, I have memories oh. of this because it was the first. Oh yeah. Here he goes. This was the first boss fight we encountered when I came and back to this game, where there no was actually. Remembers. Poof. No, my. Uh, there was three of us behind that pillar. Yeah, but not the healer. Well, the healer's garbage. He's so. He's actually garbage. <laughs> he doesn't do a single thing right, as far as I can tell. But we're getting through it in oh, spite of him. It's a go. Oopsie. Come on. Oh, hurry up. Woo. But the, uh, shit, what was oh I talking God, about? This guy's gonna fucking die. Well, yeah, it would, in particular, what stood out to me was that the guy who makes the paintings for that game clearly was the one who Let's knew go. what the characters were supposed to look like. And whoever made the portraits for, like, all of the individual conversation moments that is the majority of the game didn't seem to know what they were supposed to look like. I think there was no communication between, so I think they were working in parallel but had no idea what... Yeah. The like, it's to, actual it's, direction was supposed to be. Because like the art in all the the art outside of the quote unquote gameplay was clearly better, wasn't it? Like, and they each character had a completely different stature and appearance that really delineated them as like separate cartoon characters, whereas yeah. they all looked really similar in the conversations. And that, that was that was weird to me because I was like, isn't it almost less work to make the portraits art than it is to make the the super paintings? Why didn't the painting guy just oh, make the think. portraits? <laughs> I, like, I guess you have to make a bunch of different like faces, but like it, it I might don't know. have been something about like maybe the character, like the the outlined characters were created first, and then the backgrounds were commissioned by somebody else. Maybe and the, like a better artist. They, yeah, and so they just didn't. Well, I don't know. Because well, yeah, like, might be like the fire, like the fire emblem, like conversation, like talking talking head portraits were like just way worse. <laughs> It was distracting. They made a, wait, there's the a new Neko Jisha game. I think I already sent you that. Yeah, you told me there's a. Just showed up. I'm like, wait, what? Uh, and they're like, it's we? like you put they're like little 3D models and stuff. And I'm like, I think they're trying to turn into like an RPG. And I'm like, all right, I guess this uh, franchise is going somewhere. Somebody leave. Uh, didn't we beat it? Did we? Oh, we did beat it. Yeah, I think the dungeon's over. 
Oh. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you gotta teleport out and back the, in. Did you, should you turn in the quest? Well, I can't without teleporting out and back in. Oh, okay. Because you can't... Uh, oh, fuck. I can't get back in because I'm going to fight now. Shit. Oh, <laughs> Die, random enemy. Wait, where am I? Ow, who's attacking me? But, uh... Burning Crusade dungeons were designed in, like, circles, so you could run back... T you could run back in each time. There we go. Yeah. They were designed so that you could... Uh, they were designed so that you'd, uh, you'd finish all the objectives to beat the boss, and then you'd be, like at the exit like a lot of skyrim caves you'd like open a door and be like oh here's the ending uh, i'm back at the open at the end, i'm back at the entrance uh but that doesn't work if you do what they did where they didn't kill the people in the first room they only killed the people in the corner so we can't walk back without going all the way back around go right yeah, where so everything i was confused and die. why they weren't killing everybody i was like uh do we not want to circle Job's back done. or Job's done. We'll walk. Ready for work. I didn't vote for you for king. <laughs> <laughs> Granny, you're not the only one that's got lobbyists in, con in Congress. Damn. <laughs> that was a little too real. <clears throat> Can't get enough of that uh. sugar crisp. Sugar crisp. <laughs> Have you seen that? I said that was a uh, Sethic Halls. Uh. On select and join his party. There you go. There we go. Stop channeling. You know what? I actually, uh, it, it doesn't happen very. Uh, it, it's happened a few times, but I actually watched uh, an episode, the like a recent episode of Rick and Morty. And I was like, this is kind of the shittiest episode I've ever watched. <laughs> oh really? I thought the new episode was the best episode in a while. Really? You thought the the in, the train one was really good? Yeah, I watched it with Stephanie and we were actually laughing a lot. We had a really good I, time with that one. I feel like I... I thought it was really entertaining in a way that none of season, this season has been so far. Like, it was the best episode of the season. I guess because it didn't really have a plot. Or it did it? Maybe I'm just, maybe I'm just yeah, too dumb. Maybe the IQ, my IQ was too low. The plot just seemed kind of like... It, we're on a train that never ends unless uh, we make a loophole for it to end. And I was like, okay, so why doesn't Rick just use his portal gun to leave? It's like, he well, can't. He's he trapped can't. in a, like, he's trapped in like a story dimension. But there's it gives me no context why he can't leave. It just starts at it like, well, he's already on the train and he made it. I mean, if he's not using his yeah. portal gun, you can generally assume he's trapped. No. Like for me, that was that was fun because it was one of the. A lot of the most fun episodes of Rick and Morty are the when they go completely fucking nuts with the sci-fi concept. Hmm. I guess that maybe that's where the division for me is. I I like the I like a lot of the episodes that have A B plots. I don't really like the episodes that are more A B plots. Like, crazy in nature. My yeah, favorite, like I, I think I, my favorite B plot joke of all time was the uh, fucking. I just I just started crawling and it kept working, so I kept doing it. <laughs> With uh, the it was their dad, their dad was at work when like the apocalypse was happening or something, and he just oh, yeah, got on all like, he just got get, all, yeah. he just got on all fours and started crawling in a panic, and then it just kept working, so he kept doing it, and that's just what he says when he gets he gets to the house, he just crawls <laughs> in the front door, and he's like I just. I just got on my whole, on all fours and started crawling, and it kept working, so I kept doing it. <laughs> like he crawled all the way home, and like something about the delivery of that joke was like the hardest I've laughed in the entire show. That was pretty good. There's. Did you watch the 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 uh, Japanese five minute episode? No. Japanese like, five minute episode. Yeah, it was episode. It was, uh, let's see. They have this bookmark somewhere. Um, Do. Let's see. Because on the. On the, the service I use, it's called Episode 100 Samurai and Shogun. Oh, it's like, yeah, 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 yeah. I think it was like. I saw that. 3D animated? Yeah, I've seen that one. That came out of nowhere. I think that I think that might have been an April Fool's episode or something. I don't remember when yeah, it that, happened. Yeah, I think that was a yeah, I think that was an April Fool's, 
Or no, I think there was. Uh, actually, no, I think it. I think it came out only couple, like a couple weeks ago, huh? So it was too late yeah, for that. Yeah, it came out. Of, no, it came out a month ago. Hmm. But it just came out of nowhere. I guess it was just like something to bridge the gap during the mid-season break. Like that was just a thing that happened. Well, it's probably. Uh, I'm not really looking for plot in. Wow, two bosses. I forgot how brief all the instances are in Burning Crusade. Wow, guys, really, really cheaping out here. They were, they were quick. Well, I mean, they they insisted on making sixteen of them for some reason. I guess I. There's like sixteen I don't know, instances there's... in their role, like two bosses long. Uh, when it comes to Rick and Morty, there's something about the, there's something about the the adventure that I enjoy, not so much the. The, the, like the zaniness. I don't really care about the like the wackiness of it all. I really I mean, like being the, in a different reality with different rules is like a adventure. <laughs> I guess, but I, I think I would have liked the episode more if I knew how they got on the train. I think that's what upsets me. I don't know how they got there, and so I don't really have much care about. You do know how they what, got there because that's the plot twist. What the, what, the, the episode, plot twist is yeah, that it's just like, a don't, toy don't, and it didn't actually happen. I mean, it did happen. Well, yeah, but it's... <laughs> I feel like you didn't understand the episode, maybe. I don't think I understood the episode. <laughs> I, maybe, I And I wasn't even, like, inebriated. I just... Maybe I'm just too dumb for that. I, I just didn't genuinely understand. Because I, I thought the punchline was that, oh, get it? It's a it's a toy that has hyper... Re like, that has self-aware, like, figurines inside of it. I thought that was the punchline, was that it was actually just a toy all along, and that what we watched didn't actually happen. That was just part of the toy. That's the that's where you're wrong. Okay, what is actually the punchline then? Well, you're right that it was a toy. You're wrong that it didn't happen. What? <laughs> How the fuck did it happen if it's a toy? <laughs> What do you even mean? So, so the Rick and Morty that were playing with the toy. I mean, spoilers. Were, we're just spoiling the episode at this point. It's a little too late, I guess. But it's like, no, like the reveal at the end of the episode was that they were toys the entire time. Like that's who they were. Like it, it was like they were essentially the equivalent of like the butter delivery boy. It's like well, this is my life. Oh my god. Like that's all they are. Oh, I, that's all they are. Wherever it was toys, and they they gain awareness of that at the end. It's an episode Sorry, okay, where wait. they lose because so the, they were always fucked. Because they were always at the very toys. End, at the very end, when it's like them in the living room, that's not the ones that were on the train. No. Okay, then I got the joke. The joke was like, yeah, that the train was wasn't real to begin with, but the Rick and Morty that were in the on the train thought the train was a real train. They find out that they were basically always copies and they were never real. And so their escape was pointless because they were never the real, like, Rick and Morty. They were, like, in a shitty, yeah. horrible simulation. It's like the, uh, you, you know Soma? Yeah. They found out that, like, the, yeah, they, they were, like, those simulation people in Soma, where every time you launch the simulation, they'd, like, die again. That Soma was brutal. Yeah, it's fucking brutal, and that's why that was brutal in, in uh, Rick and Morty. It's, like, it's a crushing reveal of, like, oh, they're, they're, they're fucked because they were always fucked. How do you free these fucking people? Uh... Am I supposed to hit you with something? I feel like I'm supposed to hit you with something. Yeah, I don't... Uh, usually there's an item. Yeah, what is... How do I free them? Carry explosives. Ah, Kill the barrel ah. hounds and using the raw so, energy left behind break the imprisonment and spirits of the innocents. Where are the barrel hounds? Fighting those, those uh, barrel reclaimers. Yeah, the dogs. These things right here. Barrel hound. So like, do I just kill them near them? Like those, like the... I guess it's like that part of... No, no, bring it up to the thing, I think. Oh. Oh, well. <laughs> Gave me Mechanar. a core of malice. I, did it give you a thing? Core of malice. Free oh, yeah. the enthralled oh, yeah. spirit That'll of... free him. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was maybe like Dark Souls 2. Where you have to kill them by the statues, and then their souls get sucked in. Ah. Oh my god, Nick's here. <laughs> wow. It's, my, it's our friend Nick. It's good to in have you flesh. here, Nick. That would be really funny if he was Nick. 
Uh, it is not. Nick is currently playing his character Trolltron. Trolltron. That is a good name. He's making fun of the his the other the other housemate's name. Oh yeah, that too. Yeah. All of his characters are named Troll something, but then there's a uh, one of my old housemates was named Soltron. So he's just fucking with him by stealing his name. When I pamp in the outmount. Haha, you fool. I've taken your name. There's nothing you can do about it. Yeah. Man, I got. Kinda got like fucking. Oh wow, we're down a person. Cool. Wow, that was quick. Yeah, we're instantly down DPS. And we don't need him. We got plenty of pets. Uh, yeah, but can we like look for another one? <laughs> Hope so. I keep getting knocked around and it's weirding me out. I'm not really sure what's oh doing boy. all these. Oh fuck! There was a guy here. I'm not. I'm not sure if I understand what it keeps doing all the pushbacks everywhere. Oh god. Stuff keeps moving me and it's freaking me out. What's happening? God, and they're casting okay. arcane servants. Yeah, it's not great. I'm trying to keep this There's fucking a soul well. alive. God damn it, I got put to sleep. I also gave our tank a, a rezzer, so we should be good. Oh, we'll be fine. We still have a it healer, just... we're just down DPS, so it's gonna take a while, because there's too many people in this mob. Too many mobs? Yep. There we go. How weird. Why are people like this? <laughs> hey, instantly got a person. <laughs> Shrekt, Trollbane. Hey, why do people just fucking leave immediately? I don't understand. Oh, they're bad people? Yay, probably, yeah. I can cook haunted herring. Boop. Sounds delicious. Yummy. And spooky at the same time. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> That's spook sighting. Spook sighting. So spook sighting. It's spookalicious. Yep. Ba -do -ba -do. Kinda wish. Kinda wanna stay the night in a haunted house. <laughs> Just fucking went for it. Alright. Have you ever haven't you ever thought about you that? You got like this from the word haven't... spook sighting? Well, because, you know, there's like those haunted mansions and crap, like Winchester Mystery House. And they're like, oh, it's fucking I mean, haunted. I don't, mind, all these I don't mind visiting haunted places because I don't believe in any of it. But yeah, I have trouble sleeping in places that aren't my home. <laughs> I mean, I do too. But this is like, this is different and weird and I'm not safe. <laughs> but I'm wondering if I'm not safe. <laughs> I also have a very comfy bed and none of the other beds I ever end up in are as good as my bed. I have slept in some pretty good beds in my time. But, I'm always yeah, like, what but, is I this mean, bed? A rock? <laughs> oh, that's Why not is a good it just bed. a flat slab of, uh. <laughs> um, it's amazing that, how some... hard padding can feel when you're used to better padding. <laughs> I have a very firm bed, so. So you're used to it. I'm used to it, but I, I kind of like firm beds over very, very soft ones. I don't know why. I just don't like the idea of sinking into my bed. I, I've slept on a water <laughs> bed before, and I think that kind of turned me off from really soft Oh beds. yeah, you used to have a water bed, which I was confused by, and I'm always threatened, because I think something bad's gonna happen. Bed. Why did Shrek die? Good question. Uh, I, I mean, we're only a few doors in, they could just come back. <laughs> I got, I got like a shiver of nostalgia when I came in here. I kind of forgot about this place, but it's so immediately recognizable. Like, this place is fucking iconic yeah. looking. Nothing looks like this in... Nothing looks quite like this place in a while. Yeah, it's I don't a actually... Really, it's a really weird dungeon. 
I don't know what zone this is even supposed to take place in. It's from the nether, whatever it's called. The, the, okay. nor the northernmost part of Burning Crusade. That's just a bunch of floating purple rocks. Gotcha. Remember that place? Yeah. Yeah, this, they got weird with this area. Because they were they're doing cool. their first, they're doing their first WoW expansion. So like it was like they they really hyped. They, things got kind of hype <laughs> and weird and abstract and odd. Like I just turned in my quest to get the next stage of the quest or whatever via the pop up, and like, yeah, right. The people in Shatrath were like a bunch of weird floating glyphs that were alive. <laughs> yeah, they're like living glyphs. And that's people. on top of the weird mummy people that are now the transmog people. Like, because those were also from this expansion. Like, this is a weird expansion. I mean... It has this it weird sense that we're, like, seeing the people that are, like, the foundation of all creation somehow. Like... Like, we're seeing... Like, we've gone beyond the pale, and now, like, we're seeing... Like, we're the per... Like, we're seeing the people who hold the marbles in Men in Black. <laughs> it kind of reminds me of the, uh... Like, the bugs in Mass Effect that are on the citadel. The ones that are just like keeping it running, but no one like knows where they came from or what they're doing or like what they do. I don't this know is so weird though. to look at now. This is also like one of the oldest pieces of content in the game at this point. Is it? Well, because so much of vanilla WoW was revamped. So like oh, yeah, Burning Crusade true. is like some of the oldest stuff that didn't get changed. So it lives in a weird paradox where it was once the newest thing. Back when I played this game, it was the newest content, and now it's the oldest content. Because they revamped all of Vanilla WoW, but the expansions largely stayed where they were. This guy is good at dying. He DPS is, guy that joined. What I'm some kind of, I'm sometimes class flabbergasted by DPS's I was a warrior. Uh, struggling. Yeah, melee DPS. He's a I guess melee I DPS? Can't... Yeah, he's a warrior. That's even more confusing. Yeah. I guess I can't you know relate because I when I was leveling aggro. Ziplac, I never did a single instance. That was doing That's... my, like... Because that was my big quest, is to make a new character and, like, from scratch, get to max level entirely via, like, being in the world. Which is partly that neat is just a, because I've never played any of the expansions anyway. So I was like, oh, let's check out challenge. this panda place for the first time. You level you level pretty quickly. <laughs> Maybe not really? as quickly, but it's it's pretty decently fast, yeah. You, you, you level decently fast no matter how you play WoW, basically. The instances are faster, but the just doing world quests is pretty fast. They, they got a lot of levels for you to get through, so they'll let you go pretty quickly now. That is true. Gotta go fast. Go away, PvP talent notification. I don't want you. Oh, I, I just got two more talents. Shit. I don't think water bits are like skills. jello, but they are odd. The first time I encountered a, uh, a water bed, I kind of got scared. Like, I, I was not sure that beds were supposed to do that, and it kind of, I got, like, Nightmare on Elm Street flashbacks, where I was like, oh, yeah. fuck, is the bed, like, gonna collapse in on me and kill me? And then it didn't. I just got kind I'm just of always like, kind of threatened, thinking that they're gonna break, and then you just, you just have a mountain of water bad I, going on. I mean, the like, thing... Like, that's, that's an ongoing fear, is, like, my brother has all these fish tanks, and like what he does is he fills because he, he gets used ones and like finds them on like Craigslist and weird shit like that and like finds like yeah. cheap like he finds them for cheap and so on because fish tanks are expensive and he has uh, an hourly wage job to do like budget so he, he could, has to he could he just have to, less fish tanks he has to, nah <laughs> uh, so what he does is when he gets them he fills them with water in the garage and then leaves them there for like a week or two before he takes them in the house. Just so he knows oh, that it's not gonna like, just so he knows it's not gonna like explode in the house by like giving way to the weight. That's, that water's would be heavy. terrifying. <laughs> water's I, I very mean, yeah. heavy. No, it's a solid plan. It just, it's not a thought that occurred to me. Like that is scared. It's scary to think about like, yeah, um, yeah, like, a, like 10 to 30 gallons of water just flooding your floor. <laughs> 
Ooh, a demonic gateway. Ah, yes. Ring ring, hello Satan. Hello. Ring ring, hello. <laughs> ring ring, hello. Hello. I wanna see this. Whee! Oh. <laughs> All right. What the? That's neat. What does so, that do? <laughs> you Whoa. just travel through like a Symmetra uh, turret thing. I think you only use it once Ooh. per every 1.5 minutes. Yeah. Wait a second. That's amazing. You've got like a... T yeah, I, I just unlocked this. I'm like, what? That's a cool power. That's a super cool power. I'll put that next to all my structures because that's, yeah, like that's not like a commonly oh, used important it. item. I don't think a single person tried it. A bunch of fucking losers. Everyone's bored of this thing, I guess. People probably already know what it does and don't I think care. it's fucking cool. <laughs> like, oh, uh, that's stupid. That shit's useful for world quests. Like, that stuff's great. One of my favorite things that they've added to... Can you put to... it on, a t on the top of a cliff and then have the end point on the bottom? I think so. Like, you can use it to travel and, like, go around hazards. That's one of my, that's one of my favorite things about my rogue is that they gave me a grappling hook. And that so, is like, nice. on a regular basis, I'd be like, oh, fuck, how do I get up there? I'm like, and VIP! Because <laughs> when, whenever you're playing an expansion where you don't have flying yet, you're like, ugh. Fuck. I, had, I, went I to, remember, like, the I saw the, I saw the waypoint and I went to the bottom of the thing, but I actually have to go to the top of the thing. Fuck. And then you're like, VIP! <laughs> and you just grappling hook up. Or, you, or I jump down and grappling hook at the last second to, like, not die of fall damage. Oh, that's some, like, that's some Widowmaker shit right there. Yeah, you can do some good shit with a grappling hook. And on top of that, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm also a goblin, so I have a jetpack. Which is oh, just a... Uh, goblins just have... It's just a... It's like a thruster pack. Like, you do, like, a... Uh, it's a... Uh, uh, is it the Hanzo jump or Genzi jump that goes forward? Because the jet... The, the thruster pack only really makes you go forward, not up. But you can clear a gap with it. I think that's Hanzo. I think Genji has a vertical double jump and and Hanzo yeah. is a horizontal one. So it's like that. Like that every 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 uh every goblin has that. Jetpack? Yeah, the little thruster pack makes them go launching forward. They have that and they have a rocket attack that they can fire. Which the whole time I was leveling up was a reason was a reasonably powerful attack to have on cooldown that I would just kind of fire off whenever I fought a decently hard thing. But now I'm sad. I'm gonna. I'm about to take it off my bar. I think. Oh. Because I'm max level, and it's not getting stronger. <laughs> oh, like it, it yeah. was getting stronger the whole time I was leveling, but I, I'm not leveling anymore, so it's never getting stronger, as far as I can tell, until the expansion and so on. Like I'm getting stronger and stronger stats, but it's not based on stats. It's just based on level. And it's like, oh, my cool rocket. <laughs> It sucks I keep getting now. stronger and it just stays the same. Yeah, it's like oh, I liked my rocket, but the rocket and the jet pa and the thruster pack share a cooldown. This is the beginning, bud. <laughs> bruh. Uh, bruh, nothing. Just keep going this way. <clears throat> yeah, just people don't know where to go. It happens. Bro, what the hell, lol? <laughs> Bro, WTF? WTH? Well, yeah. Uh, LOL, JK. <laughs> and he wasn't saying that at anybody. Like, he's no, the he's tank just... that was leading. He's just, he doesn't know where to go. Ooh. Did you guys get this blinding flurry over here? There's a quest item over here. What? Yeah. Oh. Wait, what quest? I just completed Lost Treasure. <laughs> there's just oh, a weird... Blinding Fury. Yeah, there's a little thing at the bottom of the elevator. I just picked it up. And I, th I think it said that it's zero out of one for like, at least like four people in the party. <clears throat> so I, I don't think they got it. I'll get on my way down. Uh, you might want to do it now, because I think it's a linear quest where the next objective will be something later or something. Maybe not. 
But I feel like I keep getting more and more quest updates as I go forward. And so it might block you from future quests if that's how it works. Dude is taking boss. damage. Ah, uh, it's a boss. base of this? What do you mean it's at the base? Where? At the bottom of the elevator there's oh, like a shiny gotcha. thing. Oh, gotcha. There it is. Yeah. <clears throat> it's a weird like douche. Oh. <laughs> oh. <Ugh. laughs> it's a crystal douche. Yeah. I'm here. I was just like, what's shaped like that? <laughs> what is shaped like that? Not, not a lot of things. Well, we've got, um, a douche. Wait, what? YouTube has a hand sanitizer emoji? I love it. Yeah, kids, make sure to wash your digital hands, you disgusting cretins. Don't value your life, friend. Uh, da -da. I just got so I just got a demonic tyrant, which when I summon it makes all of my existing summons last even long. Oh my god, look at him! <laughs> oh my god! Look at Scary Boy that just came out with his weird wings or whatever the fuck. God That's damn! Dead. I'm getting pummeled though. I'm getting covered in enemies. They're all on me. Please, tank. You should change that. Please. My spider tank dies instantly. Down. I love it. Oh, tank's dead too. Do, 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 do. Uh, 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 you're gonna have to go attack somebody else. Who is he doing now? Ah, your explosions are what cause people to get hurt. Who do you do, do bitch? <laughs> what? Be a short run back, it's just up that elevator. Maybe I'll even get there while the fight's still happening. But yeah, the uh, <laughs> those ads were just running amok, and I think they killed both of both of us. Uh, yeah, the ads are the ads have like an AoE attack that they're caught that does a lot of damage. So you gotta be mighty careful of it. Also, it keeps killing my fucking pet. Yep. No! There's a laser beam barrier blocking the door so we can't get back in. Oh my god. Oh shit. Which is great. Oh, he's coming over to you. Oh, he's coming to us. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Hey. How you doing? We'll just come fight this elemental, I guess. This is fun. Ow. <laughs> you guys hit it? <laughs> Ow. A little bit. I think our I think our warrior gave up on hitting it. Can I just find a line of sight for this teleport? I don't think I can. A line of sight with teleport. You're trying to teleport yeah, I'm in trying here. To, I'm trying to symmetric teleport in. I don't That'd think be pretty cool. It. Yeah, I'm trying really hard to find a green circle, but it's all red. Think you can take this. Wait, that thing just came through? <laughs> it just came at us. Get him, Grr. Oh, Shrek just died again. <laughs> Ow, I died again. <laughs> Fuck. Well, just don't. I mean, don't hang out near it. <laughs> and don't come back. <laughs> oh my god, our healer Oh no, died. there goes the healer. I'm not gonna be in a corner. Seems like a not Jesus. ideal place. Is there a strategy to this fight though? I don't remember because it's old content now. Don't get hit. I think there was like a tactic. Ow! Raging flames. Through. Oh, the raging flames ignore threat and pursue a player for a short time. And don't come back. Oh, never mind. I died. Okay. But every time they so start they, doing every time every time they do their fire nova, they stop moving. 
Yeah. So what you want to do is you just want to have them yeah. stop somewhere and then. Don't start the fight without us. Also, can you put up a teleporter and see if that works in, in case someone dies? <laughs> oh, so you can go through the gate. <laughs> yeah. That'd be funny. <laughs> Maybe. See if it works. It's really handy they get, they put like an in-game guide that explains all the bosses in these situations. Yeah. So it's with how many bosses there are. Or yeah, and like and how many fights there are that just don't require that just much stand work. Stand still until it stops. Uh yeah. it does its thing. Okay, now you can move. He's not doing a Nova. There he is. There he is. All right. Uh oh. Uh, ha, ha. Yeah, they just kind of take turns pursuing someone. Yeah, yeah. I thought he just didn't have aggro, but you can't aggro these guys. They don't give a fuck. Yeah, cross there's cross one. Let's yeah, get there's one so of many these guys down. Boss, there's so many bosses in these games that, like, it's really handy to be able to review some of these these because when you're when you're doing this leveling experience, so much of the content you can kind of just sleepwalk through, as long as you just play your class correctly. So when, yeah. So like whenever they were like being clever and gimmicky back in like four expansions ago, nowadays it's like that's like arcane knowledge knowing how that boss fight works. So you kind of yeah. need a guide to explain it because otherwise you're like, what the fuck was that fight again? Oh god, the one I did in 2008. I don't remember. It's 2020. It's been 12 years. <laughs> Think you like punch it or something? That used to be the thing. Is this used to be like the only content around, so you had time to sit there and like learn it and figure out what the, what the tr trick was with your friends. But now it's like this is one of like 200 instances in the game, <laughs> and you're just kind of steamrolling through it on your way to the other expansions. Hey, we're doing it this time though. Yeah. Everyone's gonna write. It, in fact, right now, now the two it. elementals are stacked, which is good. I just went to the teleporter for fun. <laughs> Didn't even need to use it. Yep. But yeah, it let me place it through that area, so maybe it did work. I don't know. I wasn't about to test it, because I couldn't come back if I did. <laughs> you can only use the teleporter once every one minute and a half to stop you from doing, like, 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 Symmetra tricks in a PvP match, probably, where you, like, yeah. torture players by teleporting back and forth. It's definitely right. to counter PvP usage. And also, I guess it'd be really useful against uh, AI. Because the AI would have to just keep chasing you back and forth while you kept teleporting away. So you'd just be unhittable. It'd be an Especially infinite kiting tactic. Especially since you have range tactic. attacks. They have, so they have to make sure you only use it as a, mo as a navigation tactic. And like potential like... It, it definitely does have the, the possibility of being a really cool PvP like ambush flank attack. Where you just fucking like, hey everybody, let's go into the weird p that piece of their roof or whatever, and just jump in and be like, <laughs> yeah. I'm glad to see that there's a Symmetra uh, teleport in this game. I had, I had no idea that was in this game, like at all. That's really neat. I wonder who had it first. Probably Symmetra. It probably wow, it's just so unoriginal. I mean, I don't, I don't know. I haven't been keeping track of this game in the meantime, but I, I wouldn't be surprised if they had the, they had the symmetric character, and then they were like, you know what? We could fit that mechanic in there somewhere. I mean, between Overwatch and, wow, there are so many goddamn mechanics in these games. Like they have so many character classes, and each character class has so many different things because they. 
They did that whole thing where they kind of reinvented each character class into three new classes. Yeah. Because, like, the, uh, a significant number of your overall icons aren't in the other subclasses, which is not how it used to be. Yeah, there used to be a lot of overlap with icons. Well, because you, you, you can... Because what, what happened is you made a character, and then the vast majority of your icons were just universally in the game. Yeah. Uh, that entire character just had all those different abilities. And then in your talent tree, you would spec into this really specific thing and over the course of getting to max level and as you were as you were specking into that class uh the vast majority of things you spent points on were passive but then like over the course of the talent tree you'd pick up like three abilities basically and like that would, those would be like your three special abilities you got from your talents like mutilate and that was it whereas nowadays like you pick a you pick your specialization at like level 10 and then you that defines what class you are for the rest of the game and it's there they kind of are three different classes it's it's interesting too because a lot all of the uh the skill tree icons have been relegated to being the uh what's it called the uh the macro icons so you can still see a lot of the remnants of like, what? Wait, why is there? No oh, old icons that I... used to be around. Yeah. Yeah. Well, macro icons were just all the game's existing icons that were already used for something else. So yeah. they were they were always some character's ability or some character's talent or item. Yeah, but they don't. A lot of them don't like even that. exist anymore. Like, oh you yeah, can't they're, find they're definitely them anywhere like, else. yeah. Stuff stuff has just gone away. I've said it before, but like it's incredibly strange to me that yeah. They hyper specialize the three different uh, talent trees of each class so significantly that that like I I'm I'm playing as a rogue, not this character, but my other my my rogue. Uh, my rogue doesn't have poisons or bleeds or backstabs. Like he doesn't have a get behind the enemy to attack them attack. Like there's no attack from behind on my entire rogue. In this current spec, and Which he never, weird. and he never, and he, he doesn't, cut, he doesn't put poison on his weapons, and he doesn't bleed people. There's no rupture. There's no garrote. It's just not there. Like that's it. <laughs> and his cheap, he has, he has a version of cheap shot, but it's a gun now, so it's a ranged cheap shot. So he stuns people at distance. It's very, very odd to get used to, like, this is what rogues are now. But just that's but that's just my particular version of a rogue. If I respec, I get a whole different weird rogue, like, the, because they probably made one that specializes in dots, specifically. And one that specializes oh, yeah, in tricky, tricky stealth tricks. But, you like, it used to be dots. that every rogue had bleeds, and every rogue had backstab, and every rogue had, had uh, poisons, because those were the universal elements of what a rogue was. And you just hyper specialize them to be like, oh, I'm good at I'm good at maces and swords, so I don't get to use backstab attacks because those only work with daggers. But you still had the button. <laughs> you just didn't. You just took it out of your bar because it didn't work. And then uh, my garbage. my shaman. We we played shaman and druid, I think, right when we were in classic, and we, I yeah. was overflowing with totems. I just like. I had like two healing spells and three attack buttons and then like fucking 12 totems already basically like that's all I was was a totem boy uh that's all and, I was the totem boy yeah and now I play as my shaman in live and he doesn't use mana when he casts spells <laughs> his spells are all free and they that's generate weird. and they generate um, a, some kind of storm force it's I think it's called maelstrom and so you generate Maelstrom by casting spells to cast other spells that cost Maelstrom. So it's like a little bit like rage on a warrior. And he has no okay. totem, and he doesn't have totems. But when I got a certain number of levels into my talent tree, I unlocked a talent that puts down four totems at once. And that's my only totem button. So I get four different buffs simultaneously if I press that one button. But it was optional to have totems at all. It's like it's incredibly strange because like when I think of shamans, I think I think lightning spells yeah, totems. and totems like totem and lightning spells were just kind of like a bystander thing. But like the totems were like the special thing that defined what a shaman was. 
like how like how a druid is a character that shapeshifts, and a shaman is a character that totems. And like that's not really what it's that's not necessarily what a shaman is anymore. And I'm like, weird, fucking weird. Like you get some serious whiplash if you're used to like the old WoW, and you look at this now and you're like, wait, really basic assumptions about how the game works aren't true anymore because they just went away. Which, oh, but, I mean, at I least got, it's... I got my quest book. At least it's progressing. It's, uh, it's, neat, it's, it's, interesting, it's interesting they did stuff with it. Uh, I just got my special assignment oh scroll God. that tells me to go to another continent when I click on it. Oh boy, that was... I'm level 80. I'm almost there. No, Step it up, I'm bitches. 15% at 79. Oh God. Yeah, I'm over a level ahead. I'm over a level ahead of you now. Ooh. What troubles you? Yeah, I have a gnomish grenade in my inventory. I already blew up all the things. Uh, was that hampering their escape or something? What? What quest was that? Uh, that is the lost spirit. Or yeah, it's hampering their escape. Sorry. More demons! Nah. Oh, she fucked. <laughs> oh, she covered in demons. She can have a bad time. I have so many demons! Ah. I summoned my two dogs and my void walker and my weird vile fiend lurchy man, and then I got my super angry Diablo boy. <laughs> and then I just have an army of imps that just kind of generates around me. There's a lot going on now. I'm starting to hit that, like, stride where there's just so many goddamn things around me that are all fighting. Like, uh... Like when you're playing as a summoner death knight and you just have your undead army around you and you're like, yes! The... Which, like, that's why... Which that's Dr. Why... Class in Diablo? Who is this that's oh, yeah. Or, like, a necro or like yeah, the, the necromancer. What am I even doing here? I still have to save one Kalshlaka Shaman. I can't find a single ritual. dog. Did you get all it's the orbs already? Object. Oh, I did get all the orbs. Cause I can't I'm find. Not. There's one. There's a doggy. Kill the doggy. No, kill the doggy. Kill the doggy. Kill the doggy. No, kill the doggy. Kill the doggy. There's one. Okay, need to find a shaman. That's a craftsman. That's a craftsman. That's Shamans are just standing against the wall. They're usually by the entrance That's if you craftsman. go over there. That's a shaman. There were so many craftsmen. We're all going to craft down here. We're you're all going to craft down here. I wish my uh, Wish your what? Wish you what? Hmm. I kind of want to merge these settings. <laughs> so I, uh, I have my uh, pet set to assist, which means they'll attack who I attack. Okay. But defensive means they'll attack people who attack me. <clears throat> okay. Why not both? <laughs> well, if I attack somebody, attack them. If somebody attacks me, attack them. <laughs> like. That makes sense. Yeah. But those are separate settings, and they don't mix. <laughs> a little frustrating. Because, yeah, I just want... If I'm in combat, I just want my pet to fight that person, basically. I get, like... Once chaos ensues, and I'm in an instance, and there's, like, tons of options, then, yeah, we can split hairs. But if I'm just world questing, and I'm in a fight, fight the thing. <laughs> I don't want to go... I don't want to press like the attack it. button. I've got to run my own character. <laughs> I feel like that's how it should be already. Yeah, but it's just not. Like, cause... Yeah, it just seems... I don't know, it seems like a waste of time to... It's need odd. To keep track of that. Alright, we're like probably, gonna cut, probably gonna cut things off here. Yep. Cause well, we've been I'm, going for four and a half hours. I'm halfway, so and you were even And you were even here for some of it. <laughs> Wait. Hold on. Now I'm at 54%. <laughs> 
So go ahead. Uh, if you want to, if you want to keep going, you can like hit eighty. Let's see, what do I gotta do? And then we can meet up there. Let's see, I'm gonna click on the scroll. Uh, it says, do we want to do Pandaria or Cataclysm? Uh, that's up to you. What do you want to do? Um. Which, like, we barely made it anywhere in this expansion. That's funny. We're still in this, the first area. Yeah, we're still in, like, yeah. the first Let's go zone. To Cataclysm. Because I, I, I went to Cataclysm as Zip... I went to both for a bit of Ziplack, but... Cataclysm's fucking nuts. Have you seen, like, the giant circular floating rock zone? It looks like a crater impact, and it also looks like a crystal growing station. <laughs> like, it's nuts. No. That place is pretty nuts. Alright, so... for that. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and go back to Orgrimmar and take the Zeppelin. I'm, I'm just gonna follow this like Cataclysm quest to like the Cataclysm expansion, then log off. So if you want to hit level 80 and then do that, uh, that'll be where we start next session. Mm -hmm.